Adri Adraham Lincoln. You know, we said it off stream trying to pronounce this, and the relation to Abraham Lincoln alone is, you know, already important in and of itself. Just means, but, well, I, I didn't get to catch who they were playing. It has to be an honest character, though, right? Right, I think it was Biken? No, you oh, know. It's not honest at all. <laughs> Telling lies uh. here. But it's all right. It is going to be Eno up against Biken. Already starting off really strong, trying to keep the pressure up and push to the corner. But you got to be careful throwing out that note. Yeah, already got that early burst, though. Trying to keep things locked down. Big counter hit to start things off. Yes. Okay. okay. I was getting worried about that pickup there, but at least we got the burst out in the corner. Another Robin also kind of leery to spend that burst. Didn't expect Abraham to actually get that shatter. Now we have the pressure back into the corner. Nice. Close slash pickup. Yeah, and then the staircase combo as well. 2K, 2D stuck to the wall. Here comes the super. That's the first round down and out. That very quickly turned around to Viking's favorite there. Because that was looking dire for another Robin. But easy burst first is worse for wear here. Adri Adrian, though, does have a little bit of burst coming up here in just a moment. And that's going to be a key factor here. Let's get this corner pressure one more time from another Robin. <laughs> Yeah, we spend it right away just to be able to escape from the corner. But unfortunately, we are getting sent right back in. Now back to square one, but with less life. And wow, <laughs> just immediately getting wall stuck. A repeat of the last round. Another Robin taking game number one. Okay. All right. So Biken has a bit of damage here, okay? And Eno, you know, a you know, little light on the health here, all right? Absolutely. You know, just, like, yeah, just a little floaty. You know, that, that's what you get. That's the high price to pay for some of the crazy pressure that Eno is capable of. And Biken just playing that solid ground game has a lot to kind of make this matchup very difficult for Eno to make that approach between Tatami map, between jump slash, a lot of great anti-air opportunities. We even saw that close slash actually work pretty well on the dash up from Adrian. So game two, ooh, nice start already for Adrian. Shout out to Saya SP coming through 46 months. Oh, it's good to see you. There's the burst. Aggressive. Trying to keep pressure in the corner with the JD double overhead. Bates up the burst, but doesn't get a punish on it. Hey, at least we're still keeping that corner position. You missed the goodness gracious. Adraham, please. All right. Here we go. Straight into the reversal. Super, but it's going to get parried. Sent right back to the ground. 100 meter. You are absolutely a goner. Yeah, you may as well go to the next round. After your super got parried. After you missed the crush. Yeah, you know what? Go to the next round. Start to pick it up here though. A little bit of advantage on the burst meter, but jump slash, again, that's gonna really kind of control the pace in terms of Eno trying to close that gap. Immediate shatter with Wild Assault to strip a little bit of burst opportunity here from Adraham. Now we already have it right away, of course. Immediate burst away. Yeah, and another Robin has really been sitting on so much meter this entire set. Feels like they are never worse for wear. Oh, but tried to parry the stroke, the big tree. That is not going to work. Coming out low and then getting caught. 2S. Got oh, a big dead. counter. Waited for a moment here to assess what our next option would be. And it's the kill either way. 2-0 lead for another Robin. All right. Looking incredibly strong here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Adrian Lincoln is just having such a difficult time really establishing any pressure. You saw in game number one alone, the first time we tried to go for a rehop there with Eno, we got blown up by the anti-air close slash. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just again, all those normals from Biken really control the, the, the tone of the entire match against Eno because she has to be so committed to these dashes. We do get some of these stray hits like a 2S. We did see far slash work out at the initial outset of the last game, but this time around, another Robin will be put back into the corner. 2H pickup. Oh, damage. tried to go for the Ozonsen, but just put it out a little too late there. Wasn't quite able to get the hitbox out. Still just winning out in every single interaction in neutral, it feels like. Gets hit by the second hit of the 2D. That is just a knowledge check there. Close slash here, another chemical love to push away. Gunshots! What a Ooh. snipe. Yeah, and that explosion pulling you in. That was such a great buff there for Bike and be able to get OTGs with a 2H like that. Ooh. Interrupt there. Kabari does tether it up. That actually helps Eno a little bit more than does Biken on those aerial approaches, but 
still another Robin with this massive damage output thanks to Viking. To Tommy Matt BRC to call out the burst. Read it like a book. Good dash cancel finish. Another Robin with a 3 0 victory here. To be Power Wimp on the axle up against Muffins. Of course, rocking the May here. Muffins! Do you know the Muffin Band, Jobber? Yeah. <laughs> I know them now. Here we go, Wild Assault into the Frame Trap, got caught not blocking, is going to lose a clean 60% of your health. Alright, nice Totsugeki, tries to interrupt with 2k, quick little tornado, wow, I can't believe he skirted underneath the jump slash from Axel, sits right on top of the tornado here. I actually really like the use of the tornado here for Power Whip, trying to set it up as kind of like a wall to prevent Mei from going for the Totsugeki to get in. There we go, landing right on top of it. No conversion. That could have been huge. Yeah. If anything, we could have done like a, uh, yeah, I, I was just about to say the Axel Bomber to follow through, carry to the corner. But we got one here. Speak of the devil, and they will appear. No hard knockdown, though, which means we go back to neutral, but that is okay for Axel. Really low altitude 2S sends out the tornado, and the 5P does it. Okay, okay. Jump back, no slash. Hey, we're worried about the Totsugeki. We saw the one pass right through. We don't want to have to face another one here. Guard cancel comes out very late. Fortunately, we don't get punished for it, though. Yeah, I mean, that, that still, being able to just sit right back on top of you with the Dolphin is huge. That's an even huger 2S. Full conversion off of it, putting you full screen. Charge up the Tornado. Oh, we're just standing on it. I love that. Using it almost like the scapegoat of Happy Chaos. Critical here to try to get that forward approach. YRC does almost get the pickup after. Yeah, yeah. It's been the linchpin of this matchup here so far. Right now, Muffins hasn't really had a solid answer for getting around the tornado. Honestly, in a lot of cases, you might just want to wait it out. I know that especially when you're low on life, you want to get in, you want to close in on Axe, but with that tornado on the screen, you're forced to jump over it, which means Axel 100% right. knows exactly where you are coming in, and that is the worst thing for you going up against this character. It's being I almost, obvious. I almost wonder if we go for Totsugeki and just hop off. Ooh. Then that does clash with Tornado, I think. It won't get rid of it, though. Tornado is right. a crazy projectile. Okay. That being said, we got the back throw here. Nice. Another one here for the overhead kiss. Yes, and look at that. Wild Assault, hard knockdown, strip, a little bit of burst here. We've got to wait for this positive bonus to build it right back up. PRC doesn't actually get the anti here, but that's great awareness on the uh, faultless defense from the sky there. So we can go for trip guard after. Still get that aggressive corner presence. A perfect round here for Muffins. And now let's see if we can maintain this momentum. Oh, bursting immediately on the Wild Assault attempt. Sends out the Tornado immediately, trying to get back into that game plan. But you might have to adjust a little bit here because Muffins doesn't want to deal with the Tornado at all. So what do we do? We just get in and don't give you the room to breathe. There is another no. perfect. Like I said before the set started, this character is a menace to society. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> but that's why we love her. Yeah, do we? Yeah, we do. We love men. Okay. All right. My chat. I don't, I only see one dolphin. That's it. Just a single dolphin showing up for that. That's how much love she gets. <laughs> That's true, big timers. That's true. Actually, I don't wish that upon anybody. I take that back. All right, yeah, back I'll give the dolphin to the chat. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was the delay. I'll give you the 30 second delay. All right. <laughs> Uh oh, but here we go. Still stuck in the corner. Every single trade is gonna hurt. Oh, we actually get the explosion off of the Renson as well. Ooh. Did that jump over? Oh no, the anti are just a little bit too late again. Nice Wild Assault pickup for the kill. Muffins with beautiful routes here. Yeah, absolutely. Just swinging that anchor, breaking through the wall that is Axel's normals, and closing the gap. Now on the flip side here, Power Wolf is the one having a really difficult time dealing with this strike throw game. All right, safe jump in. Not much action can do about that one. 2K into the up dolphin. 
Yeah, did not actually see the startup of Burst right there and ended up eating it after the PRC. Still in control of that corner and still able to take a game two. Yeah, and now just kind of running away with this. Power Wimp did such a good job of controlling the pace, mostly utilizing that tornado to force Muffins into those angles for the 2S. But now it is just not working out at all. We can't seem to get any breathing room to start running our game plan. Yeah, yeah, that is problematic for Axel if you can't preemptively stop on approach from a character like May. She's going to continue to run away with it. And it's very difficult to do, like, to keep May away. With Totsugeki always on charge, her aerial momentum is also difficult to deal with. The disjointed hurt boxes to boot, it's it's so tough to try to zone out here. Seal Team 6 coming through, nice. 6P, nothing else after. All right. Just going right in, really high altitude JH there, trying to snipe Power Whip. And trying to preemptively throw it out too to make that, you know, disjointed normal blow up a 2S. Comes the shiny Whalmer. Oh my goodness, the kill. God, set point now. Help! Please! Oh no. Toss out the trash. 6P from Power Whip though. Oh, very oh. tricky stuff from Power Whip. I'm getting shades of, you know, the, the turbulent winds out here. Oh, he's British. He stole that, all right? Oh, that oh, honestly, there it is. Though? Into the overhead. That's going to be a round. Power Whip bringing things back. Not out of it yet. Just needs one more round to tie things up and take it to a game five. Yes, indeed. Right, so run on top of Tornado. Again, always a great call. 2S does get that anti-air. Yo, not the Trubulet. <laughs> Let my man say Cola live. Uh-oh, wheeled on oh. in. Oh, stop short, Amelia, to the low. Yeah. All right, YRC out. The far slash does get the counter hit, and that's all we got? That's it. Literally, Buffett said, that's all you got? Here I come with the heavy slash overhead, kids. This comeback is looking real as B. Unreal. Muffins with the 3-1 there over Power Up. I saw someone in chat asking what song that was. It's going to be another May. Another May. We have the May army out in full force tonight. Oh, Morg's beginning to Morg. All right. All right, Zero, you got to do it. That's it. I did it. Okay, tries to go for the Pierce. Nice with the IED right in over JH. Nice burst. $5 contribution from I have never 360 no scope. I've seen you before. Got to pay your weekly TNS drive sub. Wait, what do you mean that's not a thing? <laughs> it's the tithe. And we are just pressing 5K. We knew 5K is the anti-air normal. You want to tow through get out. Doesn't matter which angle you go, 5K will cover it. House, blessed be. Oh! Help! <laughs> that BRC was so quick. Nice overhead from Lurie. Oh, there we go. K2K. Okay, Turn out strong. All right, the 2S is going to whip it. That's all right. Look at Mini Faust covering us. What, three? Lurie. Lurie. <laughs> What is happening? I, I like it. We're choosing an option and committing to it until okay. an interaction happens. I like your positive take here. This is potentially going to be a positive boat. Oh, 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 I guess I cursed that. I was supposed to be big, carry to the corner. I was going to lead into maybe a cross under positive bonus, a wall splat. That is possible for Morg there with some of that height. But cross up is Lurie, the mix, 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 and able to get the wall assault corner carry once again, no matter which side, it's looking like victory for Lurie here in this first game. Yeah, incredible performance there already. Just knows the buttons that are going to counter May, right? We're up close. We're just going to send out the 2S. We have Mini Faust there to cover us in case we get hit. We're further away. 5K is the perfect button to cover the range of the up dolphin and the forward dolphin. Faust 5K. I mean, honestly, all the kick buttons from Faust are just really good. Whether it just be yes. 5K, 2K, character's too tall for his own good.
Let's see, can Morgan bring things back? The great equalizer here is that anchor. May is so good in the skies, but like you mentioned, those K normals, Faust has some really solid anti-airs, whether it's the 5K, 6P, or even 2K, if we're trying to get a little low. As Tusker Brian comes through with the raid, thank you so much, y'all are just in time. We're only in game number three. Yeah, game number three, visiting, or set number three, visiting the morgue here. Just uh, just sit right back on the setup there, Morg. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It is pretty cold. That's why uh, you wear a hat, much like Lurry is here. And Morg might be trying to cool off Lurry a little bit, right? Taking a second to breathe, making sure that Lurry can't keep that momentum going into this next game. That is an yeah. optimal strategy. Always go back to character select if you need it. <laughs> Don't care what anyone thinks. Take your time. Yeah, you might need it after you got your ankles broken with that BRC in the corner of that first round, too. Like, just the way that Luria was able to course correct in a lot of those scrambly situations and maintain control is critical in a game like Guilty Gear. And a lot of fighting games overall, you're really going to find great strength in players that are able to take control of scramble situations. And Luria was in the driver's seat the entire way through that set. Even if 2S was coming out and it got blocked every time, it's the third time's the charm, right? Like, we still commit to that gameplay, but the heavy slash jump back. Wow, there you go. Still, again, 2K in a row. I like it. Setting out the beach ball. Yeah, just be patient. Be patient. You don't want to get too crazy. That's exactly what Faust wants. He thrives in the map. Stop it. Yo. Again. Again. How many 5Ks was that? I think five. I think it was seven. <laughs> You're literally just standing there, kicking your leg out. Just, hey, you have to figure something else out here. And it's not close to Geki. I think 6-8 should be a pretty decent option, or even 5-8. Right. Because you're not putting yourself in harm's way. It's all anchor, and that's going to hurt Faust here for a big counter hit. Follow it, Totsu Geki after that if he got to. But more currently utilizing Totsu Geki not only as like a movement tool, but as a neutral device. You already got the charge here. No 5k interrupt from that, but got the coast to coast carry one more time it's spitting out mini faust as you lock down in the corner got the falling jk yeah there's the gold burst though morg now with the opportunity and the resources to make something happen we get sent right back to the wall all right nice. to the wall no hard knockdown yeah 5k wow. anti-air 5k to get the pickup immediately after on the salt, you got the stagger. Devours the hammer, so we'll be able to toss that out later if we so choose. Hammer is going to be really good for keeping your opponent locked down in the corner, too. Look at this for 5k, and it's just dismantling any sort of aggression from Mort. We're in the corner, stuck here, and Lurie's just putting down 5k for free. No punishment, two S whiffs, you do burst here, just so you can get pulled in by the hit grab. But Lurie, again, 5k getting you 5,000 worth of victory here. I think Lurie is realizing here that Morg isn't really trying to play footsies, right? Yeah. So when we're on the ground, we're either going to go for the Dolphin, the Totsugeki, to try and get in and force a block and force a situation, or we're going to take towards the skies. We're not really sitting there playing that footsies game mid-range, sending out 5H as, you know, just a wall of a hitbox, or 6H at all to try and counter poke. And it's exactly. working out so well in Lurie's favor. They don't even have to worry about it. Yeah, and that's why we still keep seeing it over and over again. It's not just an abusive button. It is just, hey, I know that you're only navigating in this one way, and it's working out for me. You see how many pickups we've gotten off of 5K alone? This time we try to go fishing one more time, but we already got the interrupt with Totsugeki there. Yeah, almost all of our offense here on Morg's side is built off of forcing an interaction with the Dolphin. Yep. Or going to the sky. Like, even out of block stun, Lurie's pressing 6P, which beats Dolphin. We could even go for 5k if we wanted to, but we get the bigger counter hit off 6p with different combo routes, and we know we're we're buffering Dolphin! That's why we're sitting here with 5k! Please navigate the screen space more. Right, here we go. Flurry in control of the momentum here. The pace of the match goes straight for the super. Should be enough to kill with the extra wall break damage. This might be a little bit of just wow. Japanese guts. Wow. <laughs> How could I forget? Yeah. Japanese guts. That's true. Don't let the name fool you here, all right? Wait a minute, got a last ditch effort burst. This could be around here for more. Oh, we spent everything. Oh my God. That was the full 100 meter. We need to get 
so many items out on screen, there is no way that Mord could approach. So spent it all. Got the 3k still able to at least get a knockdown. Jumping in with Heavy Slash. Nice. Able to still fight out of that corner. Classic cross up there with the blue beam confirm, and now just spending out all these items. Gets mini Faust. Oh Slash is here. Good jump out, but 6p every time. Falling for it here. Good pick up off the block first. PRC side swaps not what we were looking for. We wanted to carry the corner, but of course, Lurry used to the scramble situations and still able to get this pick up. Able to maintain that neutral presence control. We are seeing some of those far reaching normals here disjoint her boxes off. Anchor, but Lurry's pressure is just relentless. Another 3 0 victory. We got to get it right. Why would you correct Nearly out there for the feet fans. Why would now. you? Okay, I'm just very curious why you would have to correct that. Like, you could have just let Mystic nah, run nah, with we're good. Mega Fist, but you went right for the feet. I, not my fault. Arc System Works did it first, but here we go. We're going to get some Jack O action up against Faust. It's Matching crazy. colors as even, well. They didn't even call it feet. They said Artemis, and you're out here calling it feet. What is happening? Yeah, hey, Jacko you're... on the screen. Jacko. What? I no. moved on. No. I've moved I, on. I'm just questioning what's going on in this match and what's going on with you. With you, with you. Anyway. Wow, did you just jump me to eat that minion? We did. Yeah. That was, I mean, I know it's a jump P, but that, just the animation alone looks like you just ate that minion. All right, here we go. Stuck in the corner now. This is where Jacko really shines. How are you going to get out of this one, Poppy? Well, yeah, I mean, look at this. No burst available. Risk gauge mad cranked. That was your chance to get the follow up, but unfortunately, not able to do it. No more counter quite yet on that one. A couple of minion tosses to put you right back in the corner again. All right, and J2K is going to get the counter hit. But wow, the minions coming through, blowing up Faust. And there we go. Speaking of getting blown up, Plantain probably getting blown up in round one. King Africa taking the lead. I appreciate the big blast, Sonic. Me too. Good choice. This is this is my chat. This is my track. This nice. isn't big blast, Sonic. Which one is this? One? Fake fan. It's not big. No, it's not. It's uh. <laughs> oh my God. You got it. Okay, I'll give you time. But here we go. Oh, we get the snip, snip, snip anyway. All right, take it to the skies. Get the Afro burnt up. Oh, fully charged Pierce. Actually, I will activate Mini Faust as well. Nice. Already got Minion locked down with a couple two Ps and it's trying to back off there. Right, so we got Shield Minion out here just to prevent another hook. Ooh, All interesting. Right. Yeah, this is break a spell. <laughs> Jesus, thank you, thank you. Look, I have like four tracks it's, it's the on my phone that I have on repeat. It's Big Blast Sonic, break a spell, heavy day. It's really all the vocal tracks from Exur that I just have in a single playlist. It's it's the theme song for Rev 2. You hear it every yes. time you boot up the game. And every time I turn on trading mode for the game. True. That's what I have it locked to. <laughs> Either that or uh, Man. Six one. Black Heavens Guns. You know, one of the Arc World Five Tour three. themes. Uh oh, but wow, the 5k there with the anti-air. Great burst from Plantain Poppy able to put King Africa into the corner. Take a snack with the hammer, and the 2K is still able to come out in time. Oh, wow, just taking out the minions, challenging them as they come flying in. Nice like the aerial man. shield, though. That was actually a nice little call out. Could have gotten a pick up there. I love the movement that we're seeing here, especially the way that King After is trying to keep distance here against Plantain Poppy and just harass with the minions. But the J2K is going to find our way in, threads the needle. See, if I would have heard the chorus at this moment, I would have known. Darn it. Close slash here. One more time to press to the corner. Sandwiched up with Minion. And you wouldn't think that Plantain Poppy just got the shatter here because King Africa really running the show right now. Jacko get the pick up. What a burst. Just jumping out of the way there of the scaffold. Oh, we got the. Whoa, he just jumped up and ate him. I don't tell you. 
Faust out here devouring Vivian. The timing on that was insane. Look at the movement here. The way that planting pop navigating these minions. Ah, fall out. 5k to kick one away. Oh, yes! there it is. <laughs> I thought you swatted oh. the bomb, but you sent a minion on the way. Good lord. All right, now forced into block. Are not going into the mortal counter on the 2 8. Or 2D, excuse me. Oh, Lock on the minion. Wow. Let me get that big counter hit. Full screen game. Perfect shield timing. Every single time King Africa has been waiting for that interaction to activate shield just in time before the scalpel comes through. I really am blown away, though, by the way that Plantain Poppy is just sniping out these minions, shutting them down all together. Yeah, you think a Faust player can't keep up with that type of APM? You're just kidding yourself. Because they have to react to what items are on the field time and time again. Oh, but here we go. Two out, put the masks on. Now you can't get rid of them. Nowhere to run here for Plantain Poppy. Put no burst here, we're gonna set it home. King Africa, putting another game on the board. 2-0 lead right now. Yeah, but I mean, Plantain Poppy is still holding their own. It's honestly incredible the way that they're playing around this. Just not able to really establish any of their own offense. They're constantly having to play uh, play the reaction game, right? Reacting yeah. to what King Africa is doing. Yeah, no, that's a very good point because Jacko's play is so much more aggressive in comparison to what Faust is trying to do, right? You try to set out your items as Faust, but all the things that Jacko is tossing out in terms of minions is much more aggressive because you do have that full send where you soccer kick a minion away. That is a projectile threat for you. You can also have shielded minions in the way of some of your rare attacks. That gives Jacko the opportunity to make that forward approach as we've seen time and time again for King Africa. So it's a layered offense that King Africa gets to deal out. Meanwhile, Plantain Poppy has to play like a more preemptive offense. Yeah, just trying to find a way to get in because Faust normally wants to keep that distance, right? Wants to keep that right. distance throughout that item. But that's not something that he could freely do in this matchup unless you get a nice item like that that forces block. Yeah. 5k, got the kindergartners out for play, but the 5k, are, are you gnashing? kidding me? King Africa. Gnashing. Kick back in. And the use of the guard command as well. Incredibly impressive to keep the distance Ooh. safe. Hook, line, and sink are not going to work out here. A couple shields on top. We soccer kick another mini with shield on top of it. He's utilizing this neutral jump, drops minions so he can still kick and send the mini flying full screen. Bombs away makes a very precarious position here for King Africa. Perfect shield. Uh oh, now we have the explosion coming. Double jump. <laughs> Out of the minion into the throw. And that's gonna be the round here. King Africa now sitting at set point. I love the use of 2D from King Africa as well. Anytime that Planet Hobby really tries to throw out any of those mid poke, the 2D goes right underneath and blows it up. And that is an unfortunate whip grab. Now you're back in the corner. Jump D. Nice approach, we got the jump slash here to push right back into the corner. We're trying to drive away that mix, 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 but King Africa ready for a punish. YRC is out. Santa down. A great interaction here to avoid that minion follow-up. Mini Faust locking things down and giving King Poppy the opportunity to drop the hammer with Meteor Shower coming in. Psych, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. He still has it pocketed though. So has an opportunity to send it out. We are not going to survive this wall break, maybe? Yeah, we do, we do. Just barely. Oh, but we pull up the minion and immediately set oh. on the path. <laughs> Yo, that was very interesting timing for Plantain Pop. The Princess of TNS. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Zentai versus Z guy. Mankind double Z, double J? Society. Moon, moon! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Letting the intros rock, I like it. So this is uh, Judo right here. Obviously. 
wait, because wait, look wait, at the hair color. And this is Haban. Hold up. Zintai Faust? Actually, yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You said Zintai. No, okay, Z guy Faust. Zintai okay. Leo? That's even the stranger. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. this is interesting. I'm curious to see this. Zintai on the Leo for Zintai, mostly known for the Axel play, right? Exactly. Like, that's shocking to me, even across, like, every game that Zintai has played, Zintai has usually leaned on the zoning style character. So, Zintai playing the rushdown character is very interesting. Flash kick out, but Z guy already maintaining a massive life lead, massive control for his corner position, 2D pickups. Not looking good right now to start things off. I mean, the interesting thing about this is Leo traditionally struggles in this matchup, right? Especially back in Exert. Of course, Leo is a bit stronger coming into Stry, but still, having that box dash, Faust has the tools to keep Leo out. You have to utilize a lot of that 2D and the fireball to get in. Yeah, 2D, fireball, 6P is going to help you out a lot on your forward approach even. That far slash, was, ooh, there's a great 2D. That far slash also is a great button in the mid screen for Leo. But Z guy already looking a little worse for wear here against Zintai. Right, sending out the trumpet into the PRC. Oh. We get the overhead anyway. Real on in. Yeah, that uh, that PRC slowdown kind of made things a little bit difficult there for Zintai to stand block. All right, up the wall, but we are going back to neutral. That's fine for Faust. The double PRC into the back dash that should be dead with the wild assault confirm here. <gasps> Oh no, uh, will it happen? Okay, friend RC though. Oh my god, even though you had the reflect, we still had the back turn stance 5k. I am really curious about going for the wild assault route there. Maybe he wasn't confident that just RCing the combo would get the kill, because now you're going into this next one. Down half of your burst about, or you know, quarter of your burst. Yeah, it's, it's uh, building up pretty quickly here for Zentai. I think that's a fair risk assessment out of the corner situation potentially, but Meteor Shower does get guard broken and a nice pickup. Going for full screen. Oh, nice. <laughs> hitting, hitting the hammer there. You rarely get to see that from Faust players. A picked up with the 5 -ish. You could have RC there. Okay. Still able to close it out. Yeah, unfortunately, Zentai really reaching for that flash kick there, the slash version of the uppercut. And already, Z Guy going with the mid-screen shimmy just really baited out zentai and was remaining in safe position here first game for z guy and again just a very interesting turn of events the complete control from z guy against zentai in that first round was huge zentai was able to answer back in kind but once again if you're at a full screen position or able to swing a bat at an item as faust you're sitting pretty good right now yeah for sure i see that lucas face thank you lucas claiming that code <laughs> great camp work lucas <laughs> Dual one. Let's rock. All right, no, indeed. He's coming straight on through. Immediate burst. And five dollars coming through from the big man, Lucas himself. Flash series comes through. Goes for a jump back dust. Guard point is out. Oh my god, an immortal counter just woke up trying to press buttons. And now Zintai gonna make Z Guy pay. Wow, 2P. Blocks overhead this time. The bomb. Yeah. Yo, and that's so misleading because you see the item come out, and we've been trained all these years to press the offensive when we see an item toss happen because it's generally your turn, but now with a quick turnaround being able to consume an item and hold it for later, being able to punish right after, I, that's huge. That really changes the mental game for players going against Faust. But 2D into Red RC for the 2H finish. Yeah, really unfortunate there. Was so close to closing it out. You saw before they tried to go for that fancy fast RC route into the mix, 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 but dropped it and put themselves in the corner, and it was all downhill from there. Zintai now taking full advantage of this opportunity and getting in the rhythm. Oh, wow. Yeah, steals that turn with that flash kick right away. Zintai making a solid bet. Like, you know what? I, I earned the right to be a little bit crazy here on that approach to get that flash kick for free without having to worry about getting punished too badly because look at your resources. You're looking a little thin there. You know, doesn't have a lot to invest. You know, if you want to make money, you got to spend money. And 
with no money to spend, you're not going to be able to get that victory there. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But let's see. Let's see if we can hit up that ATM here. Have a little more fun. One Pull apiece. Who's going to take the lead? Pull out the student loan for the uh, <laughs> doctor malpractice here. 5H. Look, I don't want to keep putting medical debt from Faust, all right? Yeah, you ain't lying. Faust is going to sneak in a bunch of extra fees that you weren't expecting. Oh, yeah, you know that, that shoe that you borrowed? Uh, the socks from the hospital? Yeah, that's actually $90. Okay, after, uh, you know, insurance. But here we go. Pull on in. 5H connects. Immediate burst. Oh. oh. Already got the turbulence. Massive turnaround after wall bounce. Nice dash away from oh. the 2K, but 2D gonna get punished tremendously. With the scarecrow to bounce off the wall. Great awareness on the routing here from Z Guy to get a positive bonus back in kind. Yeah, but that 100 meter here on Zintai's five spends it to try and get the 2D, and now we are out of resources and down on life. Bills back first, but I question whether or not you're willing to spend it here in this round. Hope that we hold on to burst for this round here. He just earned it back. There you Let's go. go. It does pay off here. And you do get that jump back there. You do get to open up high. Zintai turning it around. It was looking very dire there in that round. All right, nice just block on the 5H. Immediately goes for the 2D into the run through. Zintai really starting to find their pace here, but immediately gets eaten by Faust. Don't like the taste of that, though. Chuck him out. 2D bursting away immediately after. Doesn't want to give up the corner position, and yet Zintai finds another 2D. Overhead carry to the corner with Turbulence. No meter to send you blasted off home, but we don't need it. OTG to finish. And now Zintai taking that lead, winning the tug of war here, and now has the advantage. An extra game to give, but with the way they're playing, it's not looking like they're going to have to do that. It's Z Guy who now has to answer back. I think Illyria has free health care, yes, I would imagine. Kai seems like a good king. Ooh. I mean if you have enough if you have enough money for three kings, you better have enough money for free health care. Yeah, I I don't know. He did take his son's eye, so <laughs> That's the royal health care. <laughs> oh, oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Just ask anybody from Great Britain. Anyway. Ocean. Oh, oh, shit. Save, oh, oh, we won't go into that. We won't go into that one. Okay, but here we go. Push it on down. Able to score the counter hit. All right, get your flash. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Off the wall to and one highlight reel. Continues with that turbulence. And 6P round start. Sending out the meteor. Okay, we pocket the 100 ton. That's not going to get used, unfortunately. Z guy going down around and Zentai now looking to close this out. Yeah, it was too much of a life lead there for Zentai to not throw out that risky option on Wake Up 2D again. Just slash series there. Block 6P Clash C, like I told you in that first game. 6P is such a great tool to challenge with Faust. Lily, but you see Z guy just back up against the wall trying to throw out these stray pokes to prevent Zintai from closing the gap. You gain ground here because that cross through 6P on the mix, mix, mix. PRC to stay safe. We were two plus. Nice block. That is actually very hard to block. Yeah, bit of a scramble here back and forth. And now things have finally slowed down full screen. Zintai looking for the opportunity to jump into the fray. You see Zintai throwing out this 2D just in case and gets the counter hit. About to hit the wall clash. No, last ditch effort on the burst. Nice PRC after teleport here. You can actually get the wall splat on our next interaction here. And we go for a reset to try to guarantee a little bit more damage just so we can get the round. And now Zika has an opportunity here to take the game number five. Down on resources though, Zintai has the opportunity here for a while to stall or a deflect shield if they need it to get some space. Yo. I, I don't think Zintai is doing normal dash. I think we're using 2D to dash. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's got that advancing hitbox, right? It's really true, solid button. Works. Takes you off the ground. 2D hit again. Step back. The slash fireball. Bombs away. Yeah, 
really got to build up this lead. Like, you being apprehensive about your approach is understandable. You still have plenty of time on the clock. But eventually, you have to close the gap to get this hit confirmed. And Zintai is succeeding to get that positive bonus. That life lead was huge. Zintai's patience really pays off here. Oh, no! That's all right. Still in back turn. That's where Leo's most threatening. We opt to immediately go out of it. Don't want to get hit by any kind of stray normal there from Faust. One touch away, that's all Zintai needs. Still has access to Wild Assault if you want to immediately go for a jump scare. Oh. Good scary we do at that first though. Do, well, we may as well spend it. You're on last health. DRC, the patience here, and there it is. Punish on the unfortunate mix, 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 and Zintai is gonna take it 3-1. That was scary to block because it was, again, another one of those situations where the mix, mix, mix could have been left or right. I haven't gone anywhere. I've been on TNS. Now it is time for MacBenz versus Retro Avatar. I mean, you are TNS zero. So, True. True. absolutely. It is in the name. But it's time to jump into this match. So, MacBenz, of course, showcasing why Anji Mito is such a strong character to be uh, contending. This scene here on Guilty Gear Strive with Retro Avatar on Kai Kisuke. Let's get your jump here from MacBenz. Nice PRC, a little bit slow on the uptake there in order to get that 2S, but I dig it though. We're trying to keep Retro guessing. A couple wall bounces here. Didn't get the Shatter quite yet, just wants to reset for damage potentially. It would have been tough, but damage scaling was a little tricky to keep that route going. But nice code to make this up. Band toss here for plus frames. Dash up far slash below pickup. And again, into the wall we go. Wild Assault to strip first. We get a strong interaction here. Oki is all in the favor of Macmans. This positive bonus delay slash. Red RC was just in case at first. was on the way from Retro Avatar. Surely it's imminent and definitely does spend here at the last possible moment. So next significant combo does achieve victory here for Macmans, but Kind of an opportunity for Metro Avatar to hold position with the Shock State. Oh, jeez, the overhead pickup. We do succeed. Nice finish here from Mac Benz. All right, so that's that game one here from Mac Menz with Anji Mito. Kai looking a little worse for wear on that one. And it could be so overwhelming to deal with Anji on those uh, you know, strike throw situations in the neutral game. Because Kai does have a lot of great tools as far as far slash goes, but Dance also makes it very terrifying to deal with. Even going for the Fujin series, uh, Fujin Low, we saw a couple times out here. And the way that Mac Benz is making these aerial approaches also is such a threat against Kai. See right there, that dance. Able to get through and close the gap. Tries to punish on Retro, but not quite hitting the mark there. The victory here right now is that we do have the lead on burst resources and early spend from Retro. So that does mean we can kind of hold on to wall assault if we so choose. We don't have to spend right away. Try to get this wall splat. Ooh, and there we go, sending right through. Not going for the wild assault, though, even though we have 100 burst available. We might regret that decision here as Retro Avatar starts to make a comeback. Bends there, super. Gonna put you in shock state. Nice toss. Oh, we tried to go for another run up throw. You saw that, Zero? It's Kai. It's Kai, of course. And, you know, Backman's on the defense. Calling out the burst retro. Oh, no. That's twice now because it was an early spend and you had just built up that burst one more time. All right, but the 5H, IBFD actually pushes out far enough for the Dire Eclair to whip. Or the Fujiri Arc, excuse me. Hit my food mix, though. <laughs> All the food mix. All right, far slash pick up one more time. Ooh. Yeah, I was already getting that second hit Co, so it wasn't going to be able to course correct to get that full shatter with hard knockdown on a super, but it doesn't matter. Tap does pick up Macmans. Achieving yeah. victory once again. 2-0 right now. Man, we have had some 
fast matches tonight. These players are hungry. They're hungry for that LCQ. They're hungry for the action, and I cannot blame them. It is, it is an exciting week to be a Guilty Gear fan right now. Absolutely. So much positivity on the horizon for the game. So much to look forward to, and another match to look forward to here with Mac Men's keeping the trend of dominant victories in this bracket tonight here. Clap means burst. It's French. I don't speak French. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Burst comes out. I don't, I don't speak French. Clap either. comes out. <laughs> here we go. Knock Wait, out. is that where Bob? Are we allowed to say Bombo Clap? Is that where that comes from? Am I not allowed to say that? I'm sorry if I got to break that. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be saying stuff you don't know if you could say. Well, here pretty, we go. It's, a, it's a meme. It's a Zoomer meme. I don't, I've never heard of it in my life. But well, here we go. Retro Avatar fighting for their life. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no. Well, here we go. RC gets the pickup set point now for Mac Men's. Let's just move on, Zero. Let's move oh, on. Smile okay. and wave. Round two. All right, two wave wants to pick up. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All right, knock down with the fish. Do that start. Hold the plus frames. Oh. All right, first comes out. 5k, corner carry. Nice after the dash cancel, too. Oh, we actually whipped the butterfly. That is really unfortunate here. But Retro Avatar going to take advantage. Tries to go for the throw. Not going to work out. Loses the corner pressure as Onde. Onde comes through with a 15 into the match. Reno, thank you for the support. That co that combo was not for you. It was dropped. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But thank you anyway. Yeah, but again, that dance calling out that far slash. So they've been stealing around though. Retro Avatar is still showing signs of life in the set. Oh, there we go with the full slash punish. With there, thanks to the FD, giving Retro Avatar a little bit of space, but still gets caught anyway. A little stop before going for the dash up throw, just to kind of check what's going to happen. Overhead. Oh and Magmets is gonna take it 3 0. 3 0 victory for the big Anji Mito with the wings. Look, I forgot the character's name for a second. Ram, there you go. I was focused so much on, on Zero making a fool out of himself that I forgot Ram. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beast. The impenetrable Ram. Coming up against Johnny here, yeah. Uh, MJ Karase and Johnny still putting in a ton of work with this character and showcasing, you know, that there's still a lot to be explored with this character. It's still a very strong tool set. <laughs> I wish I could forget. <laughs> I love chat, never change. Here we go. All right, right off the bat, MJ immediately going for the jump cancel out of the forward dash. Mm. Ooh, okay, nice back throw. And then it's an overhead. That was really nice there, right? Recognizing that the wall had already taken so much damage that we didn't need to go for the RC off of the TK Mistfire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very fast PRC with low 2K. What's the pickup off with, though? This finer attempt does whiff. Sword. Nice, immediately into the flip with the deal. And 6P into low mist finder closes out the round here for MJ. Flash here's there. Daro just get the full follow up, tries to get the step dash in, and still gonna get challenged for it. Nice aerial pickup route. Right for 2S, harass with it again. Oh, too far away, yeah, too far away for a pickup, so we just immediately yeah. set up another card that was really smart 
but yes. not going for a super. I wonder if that might have been a miss input. We've still got that positive bonus to hold on to a YRC. Maybe we're a little bit better off here, but it is a bit of an overspend on overdrive. Super here, though. That was nice. The call out after blocking the rock. Still not enough to get the kill. We go for a nice safe jump. Here we go. Back throw. Stuck in the corner. This isn't where you want to be. Sword is going to blow up, and that is going to be around here for Somnium. Looking clean. Jeez, nice little anti here, but at least it get that pickup though. That was looking troublesome here for Somnium. MJ Karase, the strong aggression. And once again, getting that positive bonus to build up another burst. So we do have that Wall Assault, of course. Ariel, this final. And go for Trick to break the wall. Still very little damage, a lot of scaling in that. Utilizing the BRC there, just set up a card. I love the gold burst attempt there from Zomium. Gonna work out, but not going to be able to close it out. Instead, that honor goes to MJ here, getting game number one. Now, very good utilization of draw. Like, that was very... That's always one thing I've kind of wondered about this character in particular, of, like, how we can at least route back into draw to make sure we get the guard crush opportunities, or at least, like, combo carries. And the way that Karase is just aware of the space where cards are left over on the field and how they can utilize them in each situation is just absolutely impressive. Yeah, I mean, playing around those cards is so important. And as someone going up against John, you need to know the ranges and the hitbox size on some of those guard crushes, or you could really just get caught. Absolutely. Thank you, chat, for getting the song. I wasn't even listening to it. Man, <laughs> oh, the Diva of Despair? Oh, man. Yeah. Duel one. Let's rock. Jumping right into it now. There is a beautiful counter hit. Right immediately spending that burst, but still going to get sent through, sent into the corner, not through the mm -hmm. wall. Thought for sure that was going to get the wall splat, but it did not, which is great for MJ because now we get to fight back. Still, Somnium has so many resources here. Wouldn't be surprised to see an RC to keep the pressure going. There it is. Yep, yep. Glass that try to sneak into 2k. Jail out with jump P, of course. Oh, wow. Yeah, JK into JD. Johnny Glass right there. And this fighter goes for super, gets our hard knockdown. Since we're just on the cusp of 50%, it'll be a nice little 25% boost here onto that burst gauge. So that'll be helpful for at least the next round, the longer this goes off. Yeah, only unfortunate thing is in that post wall break scenario, even with a hard knockdown, Johnny doesn't get a lot, right? Yeah. Get the card tossed and you're still from so far away, or you get a safe jump. That's about it. But the air deal is going to be able to close out the round. Oh, you're we trying to come down for the big dump. Right? Like, was really trying to get that uh, trip card opportunity there. Oh, nice challenge up with the rock to draw it back in. Good routing here from Somnium. Right, but RC backwards just creating that space. Enough for the card. Yeah. Somnium recognizing that and getting out of dodge. Yeah, that was a very important interaction right there for Somnium to avoid the situation. Would have been a guard crush had we stuck down to the ground there. Oh, but still has all this meter and not going for the RC just to make sure you can get the confirm. I do like that every single time a draw has been set off, Somnium is active to move out of the way of that. Ooh! Actually, Wild Assault whiffing entirely because IBFD there. Yeah, but the longer that you leave MJ alive, the more meter that we're going to build up, and now suddenly we are a threat. Are we going to burst? Oh, no. no. Just gonna Smart. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if we burst right there with you know so little health on the field. You might have been able to gamble it for the victory, but let's go for another consistent round since you've been killing it every oaky situation here thus far. Love the use of the flip there. At least Johnny has decent ways to escape from ram corner pressure. Not totally helpless. Fades out the first. Wow. Should be dead. Whoa. Thanks, sir. Flashbacks there? Like that. Whoa. Oh, what's his name, chat? It's Jonathan. Tene? Jonathan. Uh, reference to the indie movie, just so you know. Okay. I just want to clarify. You know, feel like I should be clarifying where I'm getting my information from. 
That is that is not Jobber. I like that one. That's a good name. Jobber is a good name. It is Jonathan too. Yeah. Here we go. Up 2-0 now for MJ. I really think Somnium is playing incredibly well. It's just been kind of the inability to keep MJ locked down in the corner because that's where Ram really excels, right? Man, She's got right. that good mid-range poking Dual game, one. but her whole game plan is to get you into the corner where she really runs her offense. MJ's just been escaping so slippery every single time. Yeah, I mean, we did see that one rock series. What? The six beer? Are you kidding me? We saw that one rock series in the corner. Look how desperate we are to hold on to that corner position. We're willing to burst offensively here, even after that 6P. And again, right back at it, the risk assessment from MJ to sneak in a 6P in those interactions is so brave right now. And you've earned it because you are at that 2-0 lead in the set. You can take chances like that time and time again. Johnny completely confused about Cardinal directions and throwing a card the wrong way. But look, MJ is consistently going for the flip, for the vault, to escape from the corner. We just found an answer to it. It's just pressing one of your mid buttons, right? If we can just stun out and then... There you go. Nice, that's another nice. answer. Chasing up with the JP. We just have to shut that down completely because that's the main way MJ's been escaping. Again, challenge it. That's right. Nice. Corner carry one more time. Oh, jumping out of that. RC versus RC, but the back throw is going to go to Somnium. Able to take a round, and now we are adjusting, figuring out MJ's defensive habits. Nice bottle assault there. Harassing with QS over and over until we finally get that throw. Already locked in here. Hyper beam action. Into the hard knockdown. Let's see Somnium just going straight for the safe jump option. Oh, 2S counter hit though to get out of this corner utilizing Wild Assault. Wait. We left that card lingering this whole time. Or did we just throw it for that round? I might have blinked and missed the, the draw there. Oh, but here we go. Another card in the corner. Ooh. Yeah, and Senga getting that counter hit. You definitely wanted to burst there. That was lights out. Out, another draw pickup. MJ Karas again. Just a situational awareness on every single draw. It's relentless. MJ. See, can we keep this going? This is to get into top 48 winner side. Nice. We get right back down. Do get out after a few double jumps, and MJ did not make, make it easy by any stretch of the imagination here. Rock Pick hole just to get his back on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Catching the flip there with the higher sword toss. Smart work. Oh, but didn't get the sword back in time. That was interesting. Right as the sword recovered, or right before the sword recovered, I should say, we threw out the 5S or 5HS. RC should be able to pin one more time here. Oh, but the explosion hit before we can hit with the stick age. Jail out one more time with the 5P Wild Assault. Wasn't ready for it here. And does get the finish. Yeah, so Somnium, look at that. All you got to do is keep MJ locked down in the corner, shut down those flip outs, and then you could run your game plan and get the game. Great adjustments. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's so difficult to deal with that relentless pressure from Johnny as we've seen before, but Somnium finally putting the pieces together, like you called out, go for that jump up for uh, JP to at least call out the flips from Johnny here to make sure we er keep that corner position that we've earned. We're not giving up work. Um, making a lot of great callouts as far as you know, delaying that pressure between our slashes so we don't get 6 P'd as often. It's going to be navigating the screen space against draw. I think that's the bigger problem here that we're dealing with because every time look that opened up immediately after the draw. Really? There we go. It's now the stores nice. reaching music. Now we're starting to incorporate the next layer, right? We're using mm -hmm. flip to get out of the corner a lot. Now it's time to start putting out a hitbox there with a the 6K. What's interesting is that we started the set with that. We started the set with dash forward time and time again but we kept getting interrupted by Slash Series from Somnium. And that's when Karasi started leaning into uh, 6P, going for our flip. Now that we've gotten so much flip mileage, and we're starting to notice that 
Somnium's going for this area route to jail, then we go for the 6k. Here we go. Oh, tried to pick up the rock. Not quite going to get it. Still the movement here from MJ. Nice. Miss Fighter. Oh, oh. windshield wiper's coming through. That's a big one. Yeah, Excellent cool. burst, though. Minimizing the harm done there. And so close to closing it out. Just has to find that last touch to move on and winner's side. And there it is. TK Miss Fighter with the trade. MJ's in top 48. Crescendo pulling up with the Giovanna up against North Kids. Happy Chaos. A matchup that historically I've thought has been pretty okay for Giovanna simply because of her dash approach. I think Leo is also on that same boat. But it's always going to be dependent upon the happy chaos that Giovanna is going up against. Oh, but we got the TNS colors here on happy chaos. Oh, well then obviously happy chaos has to win. I'm so sorry, Crescendo. That's it. Isn't it crazy to just put TNS colors in the game? They didn't even ask us. You know what? It's it's because they knew they were going to pick us up to work Arc World Tour, right? That's oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but here we go. Okay, both of them taking a second there. Just feeling each other out, but oh, now yeah. it is right into the match. First blood is going to go to Crescendo. Ooh, nice burst right there on the 2 of 4 s yeah, Giovanna is so strong in this version of the game. Ever since they made her enhanced specials much easier to do, she has become an absolute nightmare of offense. Yeah, I, I think that was such a critical change. It does reduce the amount of inputs that she has to do. Uh, it removes a little bit of that error possibility for trying to route into those, and it makes it all the more potent to install into it every single time consistently. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, Mortal Counter. Just goes straight into the guard crush setup, blocks the YRC. Good night. Yo, and welcome, Mike Saftig Raid. Greatly appreciate it. Roll through with the stack applied. That curse is difficult to deal with here on these roll throughs. I mean, it's great offensive pressure. The 2P to interrupt, though. Just plus frames. Dash so slash. Right. Trying to go for the shove there. Just great movement from Crescendo. Finally gets caught though in the burst. Gets baited out though. North Kid. Oh, out of no, bullets, but not out of options. Yeah, tapped us. Finally the mark. Great pull of the trigger just to get the finish. All right, round start situation again. Immediately goes for the 2D. Keep on blasting time gunshot with a dash cancel here no reloads which is interesting we have two bullets left but Deus Ex Machina expecting to get the hit on the next interaction for a side swap into the shatter very risky gamble here from North Kid but does pay off the throw the victory and the perch North Kid taking game number one Crescendo started off really strong in that first round there but North Kid was able to kind of slow things down right normally happy chaos can can really go fast. He can be a really fast character, mixing you up like crazy with the left and rights and the Goomba stomps. But against a character like Giovanna, you definitely want to slow the pace. You cannot allow her to run away with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it start off looking so scary because that initial backdash from both players is that sign of mutual respect of how dangerous both characters can be to each other. And that full screen presence is certainly much more favorable for Happy Chaos, but you're also looking out for that initial round start, that 2S right there. That is going to be such a threat for Giovanna on a lot of her starts since it ducks under her 5K interrupt. Her heavy slash is such a great button to use against her. Heavy slash right there, though. Big damage, no burst. We may as well just send this one home. Yeah, this he is brutal. Massive damage. Massive bleeding, tries to go for the cross up. Second one is gonna do it. Crescendo answers back with a perfect in kind. 2K round start, all right. Doesn't block the roll through. I don't, it's so tough. You could go for a, a 2P there to try to interrupt, but that gap is pretty tight. 5P would be a little bit better because it's her second fastest, or her fastest button. Here we 
go. Sent straight to the wall. Giovanna on her back. Yeah, but now we're setting up the scapegoat. Stop it, Crescendo, in their tracks. Scapegoat is the great equalizer against a lot of rushdown style characters. Yeah. yeah, it does actually kind of bait out some jump ins. Yeah, so we definitely buffered a little bit there. The stand heavy slash working out. But dashing up into scapegoat with a 5P is nice, but you run the risk of getting called out right through the clone. Here we Salt go. does get tapped us for the plus frames here. Clean work, clean work. Double jump there to get the JP and break the wall. Anything works, all right? We need that positive bonus. Yes. All right, heavy slash after the dash up. Wall Assault 2S to carry into this corner one more time for the victory here. Crescendo putting a game on the board. Now let's see. We're in that tug of war match again, all right? To see who can get that definitive lead. I always feel like 1-1 one, one is the scariest match to be in. How so? Be it, because it's just, you're, you know you're even with your opponent here, mm -hmm. and trying to get that one up to have a game to give is so stressful. And then knowing that if they win, you've got to go up two more over them when you're already this close to each other. You know, like, mm -hmm. if they're up two and you're down zero, you know that there is a difference there, right? You're either going to make the comeback or you're not. But teetering on this edge where things are so close makes me anxious. Yeah, I can totally understand because that back and forth, it's deciding who's going to get that momentum first. And North Kid drew first blood here in the set. A crescendo was feeling pretty hot in that last game. We got that quick knockdown gunshot with the brain blast here. All right, there we go. Double dash up into the throw. I like the little delay there before going for it. Nice, closing out the round. Dash up series, unfortunately far slash. Probably not what we were looking for. That close slash would have been better for the plus frame. But it did get the room for North Kid to go for it, interrupt. Blast again, low on ammo. Dash blocking as best as we can. We do block the roll through this time, but unfortunately opens up at the final part of the block screen here. Yeah, here we go, reloading a bit of bullets as well. There's the YRC, get off me. Oh, not gonna get a punish though. Mortal counter on the 2D, there's the burst. Chucharoot coming through with the Prime for five months. Thank you so much. Oof, tap dust. Yeah, wrap this round up here. This is what I mean. Look how evenly paced this match is, right? They're just trading rounds, trading games. <laughs> I mean, you're definitely the one to take the W on this round so far here because look at the resource advantage that you have. Goes for Wild Assault for that hard knockdown and the positive bonus still mounting. Dash install, not quite gonna kill yet. Oh, what a nice. hard knockdown here. North Kid gets one opportunity to burst. Oh, baits out with the BRC, but the 2S counter hit. Blocking the Taco and the 5D. Phenomenal defense here from Crescendo, but gets their soul stolen. So careful this next interaction. You know, you can start to feel the anxiousness, right? The, the pulse starts racing as you get closer to victory, and you make one blunder, and it's hard to pick it up right after the fact. BRC, that could have been DP, but we go for the guaranteed air throw scenario. Not necessarily guaranteed, could have been teched out, but it's a little bit better than trying to go for DP because we got blocked then. It would have been tough. Yeah, and then you're right back to trying to mix up North Kid. But great stuff there from Crescendo now. 2-1. Winning the War of Attrition, but now can we close it out? All right. Into the next one we go. Crescendo, 2-1 later. 2K is the round start. Nice. Car crush. Oh, into the BRC. Fuzzy is going to be blocked. Wow. Can't block Good throw, though. North Kid is constantly holding North at this point. If not, just standing perfectly straight on the defense here, much like the North Pole. All right, 2D. Mm -hmm. Moral counter coming through. 
Look at this pressure. Running low on bullets, but that's all right. Gets the counter hit on the 5D, and that's going to be another round here in North Kid's favor. Still set point, though, for Crescendo, but that perfect is a nice statement. Still very scary. Low on burst is Crescendo. Cursed up. Going to be tough to deal with. Knocked down with more bullets. Counter hit. North Kid is definitely running away with it right now. We go for the Wallace off the strip first. So this next interaction is going to be very scary. Guard canceled. No heavy slash with the 5k pickup. Oh, the 2D going for the setup again with the guard crush. This is really anybody's round right now. YRC burst to maintain the momentum. Oh no, the BRC jumping upward with throw with no RC available to you. That is another game. North Kid to all. All right, all right, we got a game five. I think that this might be the first game five on stream tonight. It is, it is. Everything yeah. else has been three O's. Well, one of them was a three one, but everything else has been three O's. And Shildari coming through with the raid. Thank you so much for the support and welcome y'all are just in time for our last top 48 qualifier. Let's see. All right, Crescendo sticking it out with the Giovanna. I know that sometimes they do like to bring in a Bridget here or there. Yeah, Bridget is also like a, a great alternative because she does have that, that DP, right? That mm -hmm. helps tremendously. Does have that mid-screen pressuring. But Giovanna still just as aggressive. We've been getting a lot of opportunities with this character thus far. Keeping things close and personal against North Kid's Happy Chaos. Pressure up in the corner, able to score the throw. Guard crush again. These guard crushes have been so good for Crescendo. <laughs> wow, the damage coming through. I'm so glad she has damage like this. I'm not. 5P? Ah. <laughs> but all right. And now Crescendo trying to run away with this. Looking better and better. It's such a huge resource lead. Gonna be able to break the wall with the super. Is it enough? No, instead we go for the wild assault. We want to hold on to the meter. Some meter PRC low to S Crescendo with a rapid victory here in game five with a 3-2 victory. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. Beautiful work from Crescendo. A well-fought match though from North Kid. Hope to see them later on in the bracket there. A top eight payout. Ooh. And we know that the players will greatly appreciate that one. Mankind That'll help pay for the trip to the LCQ. But here we go. Jumping into this matchup. Leo. MFCR. Mr. I ran out of ideas. Up here against Column. Again, the TNS colors are popular, huh? <laughs> yeah, TNS colors, popular. Uh, repeat characters, popular. Like, it's going in patterns where you see two of the same characters showing up. Very peculiar day today. Overhead though. Alright, dash up into the throw. Very nice. Getting with the lows. And we are going for the slump. Oh my god. Wait, wait. You blink and you miss it. How much damage is Leo doing now? Like, it's insane. He's always done that damage, That's bro. That's true. He never stops. Flash series got the turbulence pickup. Yeah, hard knockdown, very nice, very nice. Yeah, first half of column, you gotta get some kind of room to breathe here. Make the opportunity to get this comeback. Here's the start with the Deus Ex Machina. You're gonna get the hard knockdown, but this is still a tall mountain to climb up against MFCR, who nearly has a hundred meter. How do you run offense on a man with a DP or a 2D? You know, you stand full screen and start blasting. <laughs> Didn't work out that time. Well, yeah. Sometimes you got to blast at the right time. Otherwise, you're going to have to hold on to a heavy fireball. That's not a good look. Or Leo is already in your grill. There's no escape. There's nothing that Happy Chaos could do other than 
Bolt that they block well, sneak it a throw. Could try to get a 2S to try to pull the trigger out. All right, here we go. Right back into it. Whoa, what a backdash there from MSCR. Catch the whip up from Column. Slash series, close slash pickup. Ooh, trying to sneak in there with a run through, but we already got the gunshot to connect against MFCR, but to no avail. There's a round again for MFCR. Yeah, kind of running away with things, but here's a good start this time from Column. I have never 360 no scope come through with another $5 to the match. Arena. Thank you again for the support. Go. Draw it out. James X Machina never asked for this. Now putting MSCR in a position to answer. Oh back. my god. Taco bait out the first. Beautiful round for Column. That was a crazy cross up right there. Quick draw. Dash cancel. Corner carry. Steady aim for you. Another hard knockdown, goes for the 6K. We are holding down back for our dear life here, but stands up for one moment, gets caught, caught by a 2K, and now you're on your back again. MSCR has spent most of this round on their back. Quick tumble after single time. Hold back, and says do a steady aim. Low slash, and look to the benefit of MFCR, able to get this cross under. A wild assault. And that was just off of one interaction. We could do that exact scenario again. First, saving the day for Column because that could have been death right there. All right, there we go, 6K, get the Brain Blast. 6P to call the cross up. Ooh. Nice, very nice upward drift to get the jump P. The classic back dash BRC, so strong for happy chaos, and now call him tying things. And to give you all an update after this match, we're gonna start moving into some top eight qualifiers: Jack versus MacBenz, King Africa versus Hazen, and Danny versus Red. I am not so a lot of things to be excited about, but let's see who is going to earn their spot here between MFCR and Colum. and then the winner of Walter versus Crescendo will fight the winner in this set, so. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Over Shirley getting in, going that DP. Mm-hmm. Go, another close slash, push back to the corner. Whoa, 2K, kept MSCR honest. Okay, I thought, thought for a second we might not go for super there, right? We were able to get the clump. But no, we want to refill all of our bullets and get that hard knockdown. Plus that positive bonus is too sweet to let flip by, especially when MPR is sitting at 100 meters. Yeah, I wonder if we thought maybe we were too high up for the slump as opposed to just letting it rock. But this interaction works out in the favor of Column. Oh, but not quite close enough to the corner. If we took a step further forward, we might have been able to get our shatter. But super follow up here from MSCR. To the throw. Yeah, holding on to that RC. There's the parry into the super. No. Yeah, you can't first there. No siree. Dash up 2D. I don't care if you apply the stank, but a great throw here from Gollum. Tap Gus succeeds. That's what's slumping. So yeah, nice reset. Stand block into another throw. Oh, no. Super again. Rat-a-tat-tat, tat 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 Break tat. Right through the wall, hard knockdown. That's a Ooh. good call out on the roll. Nice little life lead here. Couple back dashes to the 2D with the big counter hit column. Might need to burst here and does. All right, now we got a dash block here as MFCR. We do have 100 meter. 2D is a huge threat. We just got to get in range. There's the DP. RC, going to be able to get the kill. So this is why we jumped right here. It wasn't just 2D we were worried about, it was also overdrive. If you caught yourself going for steady aim, MSCR could have gotten the vulnerability of overdrive to go right through 
be able to get a punish, counter hit, and a shatter on top of it. So it was a triple layered threat as we made that approach into the corner and Column just unfortunately was not able to stop that approach. And no, not at all. MFCR not running out of any ideas. <laughs> not running out of any ideas at all here. Mm -mm. Now threatening to send Column down to the loose side of the bracket. Early burst. Yo, that 2D was about to hit, though. Like, for, well, why do you have this reach, Leo? Nah, it should have stopped short. I'm going to believe in my heart of hearts it fell short, Robert. Got to believe. Here we go. Rolling on through. Tries to go for a reset there with the throw. Not going to work out. Nice knock at the door with the 5P. Not quite getting the shatter, but we do pull a burst away from Column. Might be better off for RC. Yep, absolutely. Running through as well. Great blocks and Column just with the back catches. Get me out of here. I got all the meter. I just need the space. Jersey, nice back step here. Not quite able to call out the whiff throw because MSCR has a burst of their own. Good low block. That's going to be the round. MSCR now sitting at set point. Able to clutch it out so well. Still trying to make that forward approach, but Colin still draws that line with 2S. Sex box now for that strong life lead. Should actually be building up the uh, burst in just a moment here. Yeah, look at it just going mm -hmm. up. Call him, no fear at all. You have plenty of bullets where you jump right into the DP. You have to know that MMCR is going to let it rip. He is a wizard with DP. There we go. Steady aim with the curse applied still. RC 6P! Oh my goodness! Woo! See ya later. Column getting sent down to the loser side of the bracket here by MFCR. And Mac Benz is coming up right now to be another happy chaos, but going up against Aji Mito. And as we saw Whoa. Mac Benz earlier, absolutely locked in with the controlling pace of the match. But Jack, fresh into the stream here so far. Yeah, and I think Anji isn't too bad in this matchup, right? Finn is a good opportunity to close the distance, deal with some of those stronger buttons from Happy Chaos. It is really about getting through that clone, though, right? How Anji is going to be able to deal with Scapegoat, because all the Fujin follow-ups are not really going to be too good on them. Well, that's if you, even if you get an opportunity, right? Jack immediately in the driver's seat, taking control, pedal to the metal. Locked in, another brain blast there. It does get the dash cancel. So blasted. Nice, actually, a strong round here. Yeah, incredibly strong start. First still available though on both sides. He's, oh. yeah, trying to take that steady aim. Not able to keep it locked in, so let's go for hip fire. Oh, we started to kind of fall out a little bit there. We still had some time before we actually get the fall out, but kind of risking the timing. Jack with a strong offense right now. Positive bonus gone. Yeah, nice Matt just really has not gotten a chance to play at all, Zero. Here we go. He's getting some offense started, but still unable to crack Jack open. And wow, the range on that 2S. What a button, what a confirm. Not gonna be able to get the kill though. Japanese guts barely saving Macman. Yeah, we'll have to FD for dear life. Get a perfect round, which is nearly impossible against Happy Chaos. So difficult. One yeah. of the hardest things to do in this game. But let's see now. Macman's barely got to play in game number one. Let's see if we get the opportunity here in game number two. Mm -hmm. Really, I, I I struggle to think of what the adjustment here is because we didn't get to see too many ideas, right? Well, there's the idea. The idea is to switch <laughs> to sit. Pick a top tier, as they say. So I'm tired of working.
I want to retire happy. Interesting switch here for Mac Man. Yeah, I mean, he's really been known as the Anji player, right? Yeah, I mean, always kind of consistently picking Anji, but you do have that quick approach with Elk Hunt. That really helps tremendously. Oh, but the roll through. Yeah, trying to be able to block the left rights from Happy Chaos is much easier than I've done. All right, love this XP there into the Beak Driver. But still, you got to be careful about whipping any of these normals, right? Thin still is a little on the slower side, which means that Jack is going to take advantage of those fast normals like UK. Instead of going for 2S, you saw we went for the faster one. There we go, ride the lightning. Oh, stop short and just getting shot. Jeez, we're still sweet even after whip button here. Macbeth does find a beautiful counter hit, calls out the burst. Just all looking Macbeth right now. We didn't go for the follow up. But able to score a throw. No RC! No RC! The RC could have killed! Please don't let this come back to haunt you, Macbeth. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sun Dipper right on in. Is that bringing a flag to a gunfight? No, 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 no. That whole flag is a bullet. You see that beat driver? It's a 50 caliber. It's actually like a 500 cal. Do we know what the caliber of happy chaos guns are? Uh, it's certainly 50 cal, right? Look at that gun. They still, I don't know. They look a lot like Bash's gun, and Bash is a 22. <laughs> okay, that's oh, it. okay. Into the 2S frame trap. Jack going up 2 0. With a perfect on top of that. Yeah, it was looking so good for Mac Benz there with the Sin pick, but I think we kind of just left off in the same way that we left off with Anji. Certainly much more aggressive. I think the offensive pick is much better here in the hands of Mac Benz picking Sin, but we might get a little dance back to another Anji. Nope, still on Sin. Good, good, good. I think yeah. that's totally fine because you did really well with the Sin on that last game, so I'm not surprised to stick with this one here. Thank you. Keeping it locked in. See, you know, I would think of 44 or 357 as well, but like I said, Fast Stampede has a big ass revolver, and that is a 22. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Rush it right on in again. Peace. All right, we've got the Elk Hunt. Yep, and the pickup. Oh. All this time for the hard knockdown. Okay. Going right underneath the bar slash there. Fast dust. I love it. First comes out immediately, though, from Jack. Still thinks they have the potential in this round. I don't blame him with the amount of resources we have, and they might not be Ooh. wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Brain Blast does kind of speed things up a little bit here. Tap does pick up. There it is, shot. Reloading the bullets too? You know, you want to be ready for the next round. You want to You're be right. empty-handed. Hey, reloading in the, the middle of battle is exhilarating. All right, Ocelot, relax. You're going to lose a hand in the moment here if you keep that. <laughs> All right, quick up. up, beautiful juggle. Oh my god, are you kidding me? from all the way across the screen. They're just sending in the dipper. There's the burst. Can we get something started? We have the meter to do it. I love the whip bar slashes and then faking you out and hitting you with the beat driver, that extended distance, the extended range. And now we just have to weather this storm. Another 5D should be coming through. No, we're out of bullets. Oh! The shivvy. All right. Does see the take of the W Jack with a 3-0 victory over Max. <laughs> There's something in the water tonight, Zero. And I think it's because that Arc World Tour is around the corner, less than a week to go. That one's for chat. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. I just, just get it real quick. I need it. I love fishing. <laughs> Our All right, we're gonna get some more happy cast action here against Jacko. How many happy chaoses are we going through tonight? All right, we got Jack. 
Hey, <laughs> Hazen. And we, all right. Dual one. Should be the only two on winner's side at the very least so far. Well, we'll see if King Africa can put a stop to this happy chaos army. 5k? Idiot first is wanting to be locked down in the corner against Jacko. And I don't blame you. Without any true reversal, but down a concentration, so it's free setup city for King Africa. Oh, but grabbing the roll through. Really great reactions here. Really into the side block confirmed. We know that that corner is closer, and that's where we want to send Hazen. A little hazy Dead. out here as we go through the next round. I was sending it. I was sending it. I was hesitant on the next, but I felt within my heart of hearts it was going to kill me. So I'm glad that I leaned into it. Your channel point survive, Zero. There's a nice throw again from King Africa. So far, the throw game has been on point. But getting clipped by the Stucker Punch. Got a pickup off of the command roll as well. Incredible. Ooh. Mercy. Okay. Got our Shatter with hard knocked out. But low on bullets here. So it's going to be Reload City as soon as the wake-up interaction begins. BRC, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to push forward here into the corner. But Hazen is still able to pick this up. Yeah, it has a substantial lead, plenty of bullets, just has to find that one touch, but he is going to get caught here after the PRC. Another 5P into the corner, locked down. Whoa, 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 we got slumped to keep you locked down with another minion to get the reset. We need fresh co-workers out here. All right, clean work, though. Absolutely. That was looking real rough right there for uh, King Africa, but still was able to turn it around. And again, when you're locked down in the corner against Jacko with a character like Happy Chaos, it's so difficult for uh, Happy Chaos to even get out of those situations because she can just keep rinsing and repeating that minion pressure in the corner. And as we saw, once we got shattered, we just let the slump happen so we could walk back and throw another minion on top of it as the other minion was about to die out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But... Uh, you know, Hazen is actually doing a pretty good job dealing with the minions. It's just, it gets overwhelming at a certain point, right? When you're having to juggle your resources, juggle all of these little guys coming out, trying to lock you down in the corner, and then right. you deal with Jacko herself. It can get really overwhelming, and that's what we're seeing here. It's just the overwhelming force here from King Africa. Shot. Staggered. Nice. Tech on the throw. That's a 2D in the sandwich. There we go, immediately into the Elysium Driver. Obviously not going to kill, but the hard knockdown lets us set up another minion. Ooh, Ooh despicable me. That was a beautiful setup right there. All right, wow, we are challenging there around start too. Yeah, no kidding. Sends out the old ball and chain here, but low on concentration, what's it? Yo, cheeky stuff. I thought you would have enough time to throw out a minion there. But the laser precision of Hazen, the moment concentration built right back up, we took that steady game shot. Oh, wow. And canceling the 2K off of the clone into the 2D. That 2D has so much range. Hazen was not ready for it. All right, nice juggle with the minion setups here. Wow. Trying to go for that mortar strike. Nice throw. Still within startup range. So we're able to put that up. Sandwich with another minion. Set it up, try to go for that throw. Oh great my goodness. Block. And great patience even after landing to keep FDing just in case. It was able to escape. 2-0 lead right now for King Africa. All right, let's see if we can close this out. 3-0 and secure our ticket into top eight winner's side. Not much longer now, just needs that one game. You know, the, the way that King Africa is playing, he is looking unstoppable at the moment. Just dominating performances so far throughout yeah. this bracket. Yeah, it is absolutely just overwhelming to deal with. And you can see the amount of time spent in this game is certainly paying off for King Africa on this character. Jack King Africa here. beat SQ 3-1. Jesus. That is crazy. I mean, just look at the way that King Africa is playing right now, though. Like, just constant lockdown with all this minion play. If you don't have that true reversal ready for you, or even managing minions, it's going to be a tall order to do. 
it's the minion management that is really impressive here too and the way that depending on the matchup we can change how we utilize our minions you saw before against plantain poppy they were using yes. so many of those defensive commands to really control and dictate the pace of the matchup and against happy chaos it's all rush down the hazen is not going to go down without a fight yeah and it, you can see that slight difference there in how Defensively, Hazen is handling a lot of these minions, a lot of quick little five keys, but not at the efficiency that uh, Plantain Poppy was hitting at. But it was so much of a focus on removing minions off the field that I almost feel like it was Plantain Poppy's demise because we didn't get to see as much of item setup. This way, Hazen with the reversal 2D on wake up, so at least get the corner carry. Now we can at least zone out here since we have bullet hits and it does help a little bit with the anti zoning. Brain Blast cancel. Remain safe here. Pull through. Super minions, and again, still able to get this gunshot. Steady aim a couple more times with Curse. While Ooh. Assault pushes to the corner right uh -oh. through. But a whiff throw does get scooped up. King oh. Africa in complete control now. You can dark cancel all you want, but Whoa. there is a setup here waiting in the works. King Africa with the round. Three minions on screen looking like Gru trying to chase down with the 2D. Oh, but there we go, getting caught with a 2K. Hazen still fighting back. That was a really unfortunate situation to get tossed right in the corner like that. But seems to be unfazed. Two S blocks, the tap does. Tries to sneak in a backdash there, expecting the close slash from Hazen. So we can steal our turn back. Just this time a little bit. And Hazen may have just delayed it altogether, getting a perfect and finally answering back with a game of their own. All right, and let's see if this is the start of something good here. Finally, getting a little bit of offense started, right? Able to take a good game. Could have taken that two rounds straight, but an unfortunate back throw incident. And that is one of the things you can't allow King Africa any room to maneuver. Hazen, while taking a game, still feels like they are fighting on the back foot every single round. Which is crazy to think about. I mean, Duel on paper, one. you would think that Happy Chaos would just be a little bit better at maintaining uh, full screen presence. But... In the grand scheme of things, once Jacko gets set up with at least a couple of minions, like she's looking pretty good because she can easily make that approach. And there's nothing between Happy Chaos and Jacko other than a clone situation to stop King Africa from getting this clone position time and time again. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> King Africa immediately turning it up again to 11. All right, but answering back is Hazen. Plenty of resources. The day is Xboxing a corner carry. The curse up here. It does get the block stun off that curse gunshot. Roll throughs don't get blocked forever. What a call out on the first. Hazen picking it up. Uh oh, hold up. We're gaining that momentum. Learning as we fight. 6 S. The sucker punch coming through. That's going to be a wall break. A giant Y I oughta. The wild assault here for that hard knockout. Look at the damage, though. Good lord. That into the brain blast. The kid genius here. And another Deus Ex. So many Deus Ex knocking us tonight. Look at this. One more mix. One more touch. It's all to the need. The bro is going to do it. The momentum from the Wild Assault into the 2K, putting us perfectly into throw range. Uh, all right. To all. Yeah, we got a set. Oh, man. All right, deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths, drink some water. All right, I'll make sure I chuck what's left of it here. Time to jump into the final game here. Game five, the second game five of the night. Duel one. Let's rock. Yep. Wow, nice little backdash. We try to chase with 2D. King Africa not opting for a minion setup here. Try to take the fight to Hazen. And this is exactly what I expected from the outset of these two facing off against each other. That full screen presence countering the forward approach from King Africa but I think you get away with it now because there aren't any minions on the field. This throw, great awareness from King Africa. Yeah, it's the moment that the minions come out is when King Africa is immediately in charge, right? Which is pretty obvious to say with Jacko. That's her whole game plan. 
But if we can consistently get two minions out, it feels like it's hard for us to lose that round. Absolutely. I, I think a lot of the crux of the situation is that the bullets just don't affect minions, right? So you do have to stop shooting for a little bit, put the gun away, and go for a 5T or 5K to quickly remove the minion off the field to gain that shot opportunity. Otherwise, you're just vulnerable at the full screen situation every time. 2D counter hit, immediate spin on Sky. Wrong game. Overdrive. <laughs> The sky found art. Oh, we'll played a lot of grand blue, folks. Okay, a lot of grand. Yeah, the perfect table. Danny is on the chip. Danny is this? on the chip. This? This is real? This was a real person? The Whoa. fly versus the fly swatter. The ultimate matchup here. And the birthday train is playing loud and proud. Okay. All right. I don't think I've ever seen Danny on chip, so I am in for a surprise here. All right. Yeah, it was my garage set straight through the wall. Hard knockdown. I mean, this, I have seen Danny play chip before. It's just not a normal occurrence, but it's working out incredibly well. Maybe we feel like if we can just overwhelm yes. Red Eye and Not, then we can definitely succeed. I, I think that is the case. Oh my goodness, that was supposed to be the whip punish. A nice little bait with the Behemoth Typhoon and PRC. That's also risky in and of itself. Phantom Blade gets shut down and duffed immediately by the drone strike. And that's all you need sometimes, like you mentioned earlier, is your one behemoth typhoon, but with the rising JH, we're able to close up the round. It just came to my mind. Jump 2K is like, you ever just turn left and right like a, a, the washing machine and let your arms noodle? That's what I think Jump 2K is. <laughs> you know, it, it's a visual gag. You got to get used to it. Anyway. <laughs> Pressure is on. Look at the chip damage that is adding up. Gets with a fuzzy JK, and there is a round for red. Ooh. Tough round start. Despite being down on burst, chip able to kind of play this whip punish game, of course. Tried to goad out an interaction here. Good wild assault to pressure to the corner. We call out the Rekka series with a drone strike. No escape the Behemoth Typhoon. We try to FD to survive just a little bit more. Good guard cancel. And here we go into the super. This is the start of the momentum now for Danny. Oh my right. god. Again. Yeah, that positive bonus is huge. Yeah, but you're going to lose out on this next one here because you already had a positive bonus active. It doesn't mean it extends the timer here. Those gone again. At least you got the 50%. And we're going to be able to take game number one. Very, very nice there from Danny. Or game number two, excuse me. Ninja. Don't be a ninja. Oh, just an ordinary weekly. This is one of the biggest online weeklies you're going to get here. Ready oh, was ball. certainly ready for this one. Upset about the last round, how it ended. And they just want to start things off with a bag. Guys, the FGC like I come home with the prime. We appreciate you. This combo is for you. And Red Eye am not immediately taking charge. Doing quite yet here, but another whip punish to catch the landing frames here. Oh, the IBFD there though on that Rekka. You saw that wow. pushback. We're jumping on in with the JD. Here we go. Blasting off again, one more touch. And Ready or not, it's gonna put a game on the board if we can succeed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. The, the frame new kill on Jump D in a 2K. Oh my goodness. Hey, the newly buffed 2K, mind you, because he needed it. He did? Absolutely, absolutely. He had 2P the whole time. Hey, 2K is better. Well, no, it's not, but it's better I mean, now. It is it is that 2K, so I get you. So we are tied up one apiece now. Red Eye, I'm not. And Danny, again, this is a top eight winner side qualifying match. I wonder if Danny goes down two games. Do we make the switch to Kai? We'll see. We'll see if that even happens. But uh, round start here. A little dash up, checking with the 5P. Dash out, but still gets the jump in. Counter hit. Has to be careful. You see the buffer, too. We are dancing. Waiting for that opportunity to, for Ready and Not to overextend. 
And Reddy just being relentless. Oh no, you can't be DPing against Gold Lewis like that. If you're gonna DP against Gold Lewis, you have to know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, that you're gonna hit. All right, but here we go now. Having to weather this storm, got clipped by the overhead. Should be sent through the wall. For sure, as CEO Gaming comes through with the raid. Thank you so much, Bailey. Hope you had a good stream. Are you guys watching some Final Fantasy? <laughs> Surely he's not beaten. I think he has. I think he has, but might be streaming that uh, you know, new game plus. Ooh. Here we go. H2K. Oh. <laughs> nice threading the needle with that one on the cross up. The corner 2D pickup? Just gonna stay at this full screen. How do we interact with drone? It's gone. It disappeared. Warp in. No back dash for you. Danny with a red RC to carry back to the corner. Yeah, there we go. Yo, Ooh, hell divers for the hell divers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get on the yeah, hell divers for the hell divers for sure. Trying to, trying to liberate some bugs. It's spread democracy. <laughs> Managed democracy, excuse me. Oh, we got a, we got a, you know, a purveyor of democracy here on screen. The Secretary of Absolute Defense, oh. Old Lewis, getting thrown though into the corner. Triple plus brain. Time. Yeah, you know what? Trying to delay record series has not worked out so well here for Danny in, in a lot of these interactions in the corner against Reddy. And shout out to the Rancid Rodent coming through with the prime for 32 months. Thank you so much. Oh, we actually tried to jump to challenge Danny, but it's not going to work out here. Oh! No! Oh, dice guys! That was the one of the most unfortunate drops I have seen in quite a long time. But Red, we take those. Now up 2-1 here against Danny. Said shame. Load shotgun. Oh, that sucks, worst Danny part, dropping that one. Worst part is Danny had to sit there and wait for it. <laughs> That's pain. Because <laughs> the animation kept going. So, gentlemen, it's been an honor serving <laughs> with you. We play our final song. All right, we're going back into this here. Immediate round start with the far slash. All right, trying to get that JD. JD, just a really good get off me tool. Such an incredible hitbox on it. He got so many things and landing immediately into the 2K. Every single time has been so good for ready or not. Nice, overhead does connect. No delay on that one here. And I bet you ready or not was willing to try to press. Was it a 2P though? 2P would have been nice. All right, here we go. RC forward into the overhead. We got the big counter hit. No burst yet. We're just gonna corpse walk Gold Lewis to the corner. Strips the arts or burst. That's actually pretty good here. But next interaction, we'll get burst right back. We're not gonna spend it anyways because the life point that we're at, no need. Carry that to the next round. Yeah, here we go. 2K tries to go for the JD. Nice sticks P coming out. Red, I am not. I'm, I'm so sorry. And the white wild assault coming through. Set point now for red. White wild assault here. Drones away. Jesus. The navigation of Danny here to keep getting these cross unders. The JD coming through. Able to score the throw. Very, very nice. Oh, but here we go. Knocked down, rushing on in. Wild Assault to push you all the way to the corner, but there is the YRC. Red is still in charge of this. Gets the knockdown, goes for the same side, mix. OTG, that is it. Jeez. Yeah, the, the experiment was really nice here, though, for Danny. Like, Your concert. Yeah, that's... we're about to have a live match. Jeez, uh, that's going to be something spectacular. Like, quite a memory to have here, you know, and uh, I, I'm happy for all of you that get to attend. Be sure to have a good time. Oh no, it's her! It's the it's the one! Yeah, it's Walter. I won't put you on blast here, Zero, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> Zero, so how many 
Jiro oh, said the only Milio was Rat, and I said, show Walter some respect. All right, so where's Rat? There's only one of them. I've never seen Rat and Walter in the same bracket. What do you want? See? See? That's what I thought, chat. Here we go. Unfortunately, Walter getting slumped in the corner, clipped by the 5D, and Jack is going to take the first round. Another one of those matchups here where it could be really explosive in the case of Amelia. She's going to get a lot of new tools here by the looks of it. And already with the corner carry, Blue Wild Assault to push out for the shatter. And it doesn't even matter. Jack taking aim here. Already returning the favor. BRC low does get blocked. Here we go, 2 k 2 d immediately drawing in the gun, but the first comes out from Walter, trying to create some space here, but immediately Jack just answering right back. Jeez, but no concentration. You got a little bit of time out there, but all the drift, good lord. Yeah, it's really unfortunate first game there for Walter. Unable to really get anything started. Jack locking down that movement from the movement queen. I mean, and that's pretty difficult to do to lock down Milia. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Milia has probably the best movement in the game, honestly, especially in the air. It's uh, absurd. And it's only going to get better with the upcoming patch and that mm -hmm. new move, Artemis. Yes, the one move that people are absolutely terrified about. The talk of the town. Oh. Nice throw. Needle into the J8. First comes out here from Jack, trying to gain some momentum. They still believe they can bring this back, even without the resources. Yeah, I mean, tried to navigate around that clone there with a second jump, but unfortunately, being in the sky is exactly where Happy Chaos wants you to be. They can start blasting away, push you back out in the full screen situation. 2P? Walter is so brave on these hard knockdown situations. Oh, but there's the roll through into the knockdown. Oh, boy. Yeah. Nice call. Call out there. On the burst. Once you see that blue beat, you kind of start to panic a little bit in some cases. And you might try to burst out or you have that lingering regret of, oh, man, I should have been able to block right there. I just did not. No unfortunate. Here we go. Can you block all of this? Into the RC, it's not over yet. We're out of focus, but we're still keeping the pressure up. Oh. The air throw dump you right back in where you started. And SQ coming through with the raid. Hope your stream went well, SQ. Let me see those GAs. GA stomp here in just a moment, just like we saw Jack stomping through the competition. 2-0 lead right now. Just blistering here from Jack, trying to speed run this. Oh, there they are. Chie, my they beloved. Come. They had the to get through the door. They had to. <laughs> it just, it took a little while because they just had to fit through the door. They're just too it's, alpha for the door. It's when they're out of sync that really gets me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just gives me a nice one. chuckle there. All right, go into this game three with a chip swap. Man, what is the chip secondary? The chip pocket, huh? That's what's popular now. As Chip says, just be a ninja. When all else fails, go be a ninja. Wrong. But hey, I think this is actually a really good matchup for Chip, right? Uh, yeah. Chip definitely has the tools to close in on Happy Chaos, punish him in big ways, prevent him from getting comfortable and pulling out that gun. Remember, Happy Chaos cannot block when the gun is drawn. And of course, smothering with that offense, too. Our knockdown is here. There's still burst on the table. RC is there. So you have a lot of great defensive options, and YRC does work out. Let's get the 2S. Dash up. Slash for the counter hit. Already, like, point blank range. I gotta take the steady aim. Like, just, I mean, focus the glasses here. Point shoot. Point shoot is gonna work out. Takes aim, whiffs entirely, has to quickly pull back on the gun here, holster. Nice, 5P. Does get that anti-air and immediate burst because it would have been dire straights for Jack. Sticking right underneath the clone is a great call. We do call out this burst. Yeah, but Walter is from here, Dave said, the wall break. 
would roll through. Excellent stuff here. And that does seal it out. There we go. Jack with a clean 3-0 sweep over Walter. Moving on to winner's finals. Before, and once they saw how easy it was to cycle those resources, the immediate answer and fix was like, hey, you know what? That is a little powerful. Let's tune that back a little bit without losing sight of the purpose of having that tool there. But White Wild Assault, you know, is certainly a talk of the town here, right? And it will uh, you know, still get a shine for Gold Lewis, I'm sure. We're definitely going to take a look at how that actually gets utilized in a future update. But full screen situation with immediate shield from King Africa. Very difficult approach here. There it is. White Wild Assault to get that knockdown. Finally starts some offense. You saw earlier Red try to utilize the Skyfish, which is a good tool to shut down those minions. But King Africa likes to stay in the air, recognizing that Skyfish is a threat. Now, though, back is up against the wall. How do you get out of this one? Exactly. This is, again, the, the problem of this matchup, right? And the problem for a lot of characters going up against Gold Lewis, finding the time to thread the needle through. A lot of this pressure, did we pull off? We did! Great pullback on the brakes here from King Africa to at least get the block and the quick overhead from the RC. That's a wrap here. King Africa takes one over red, or a round over red, excuse me. With a hundred meter like that, it is hard to weather the storm. Ooh, you threw the white wild assault and see, there's Good. that opportunity, right? Before it activates, you can't toss it back into the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Very well placed on top of that. Now still trying to create some of the space. There's the skyfish again. That idea coming through, but look at the meter on King Africa's side. Backdash. And RC to keep the sandwich in between with the minion on your side. Gets an opportunity to set one up. We're just building up that meter for the second. And now we get to build up that risk gauge. Super minion meter. And now there's no escape. You don't have the tension to reversal out. So you have to weather the storm. Hope you get a 2P opportunity. Interrupts the 2K startup here. Yeah, now looking to take game number one here. Able to find the stray hit. Very nice stuff there from King Africa. Still looking dominating. Red was fighting back with the tools that they had, but unfortunately they just did not end up being enough there for that first game. Yes. Once you spend the White Wild Assault, or even after you spend both White Wild Assaults, if you aren't able to close out the round, it's going to be very difficult to make that comeback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. For a character like Gold Lewis, you know, if you look at all the characters that do have White Wild Assault, they don't have that reversal opportunity like a lot of... Uh, that is so coveted across this cast right if you have that invulnerable reversal you're going to be okay in some of this pressure from jacko here but white wild assault really being the only one outside of you know your metered reversal there's not a whole lot for gold lewis so you have to really make it count when you get these opportunities and now that you strip some uh 50 away from this burst on king africa there will be a wild assault answer back and red able to get a shattered strong round start here that shatter the glass, the shatter the wall, get the hard knockdown in time to shatter King Africa's skull if you can. Overhead is gonna do it. Look, I, I called it. Right on the dome. A stroke. <laughs> Stagger. Nice. Still gonna get the guard crush thanks to the behemoth typhoon. Uh oh, but landing right on the drone. That's fine. No worries. He's able to block it. Going right back in more for the pressure. All right, turning the favor, but looking very dire on resources. Nice counter hit and sets up the minion on the opposite side. Of course, great awareness for King Africa to put that minion back behind Gold Lewis to continue this pressure. Tap does, slows out the round. Yeah, very solid stuff. I mean, you're just seeing why this is so difficult for Gold Lewis. Even with the power of the White Wall Assault is not an easy matchup at all, right? <laughs> and this gets thrown this time. And now you're stuck in the corner once again. Having to deal with just the onslaught of minions and Jacko. The high lows are so dangerous. Yeah, got a hard knockdown. Goes to the safe jump option. <gasps> wow! No! The BRC dash forward to punish the 2k whip was masked. But here we go. Forced him into a situation. Ah! With the it down. Oh no, all right, so bombs away. Let's back throw. 
That's 2-0 now. Again, we've only had a couple of games tonight go the distance to game five. So far, it's been a lot of very strong performances. And King Africa arguably has had one of the strongest performances tonight across the board. Yeah, that is without a doubt. Uh, certainly in the hands of King Africa time and time again that we've seen them across this bracket here. Basically, we've been speed running this whole bracket. It's been quite the show. We have been locking in these loser side matches here. We'll, I'll save the reveal until after this set is completed, but definitely exclamation point bracket want to follow along at home. Ooh, the shield at, yo, King Africa's defense with these minion setups has been absolutely superb. Okay, nice, continuing that minion cycle. Oh, the stomp already shuts down a minion. And there we go, sending out the Skyfish again, just trying to clear them from the screen. Nice delay, didn't get hit by the guard, but not still able, unable to get any offense. Here we go, hit the back throw. Yep, two oh, yeah. out. Yep, in the background, great situation here. Oh, a little bit early on the shield, but expecting red to come with a reversal opportunity to get called out. And that's all right, we do get the opener. King Africa, currently on match point. All right, JD though to start things off with red. Oh no, you're dead. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> that starter is just dead. That's just how things work in the realm of gold, Lewis. Turns out you got guilty geared and that's okay. That's, this is fine. It happens. You do not get hit by 426 in the corner. Oh, oh no, again! Oh no. All right, well, you're living for this one. Yeah, you had the burst. You might have actually died there if you didn't have the burst. There was a possibility. Okay, nice navigation away from the laser, but unfortunately gonna catch this counter hit and taking a sweep. Red is here with a perfect. So it turned out the adjustment was just to keep swinging. Wow. Keep swinging with the coffin, but instead swinging with a little bit slower behemoth typhoons that gave us more of a gap for King Africa to press, right? Mm -hmm. That's the big thing there. Thinking that you have the opportunity to press because there is such a large gap instead of keeping it so airtight, massive. Yeah. I wonder if we probably got called out on like a two piece startup, right? Like, yeah, two because it had to be something quick to try to interrupt backdash. Yeah, that kind of happened there. But we didn't that see too much like movement, so. He's made for calling out backdashes in a lot of cases. Ooh, that shield was lingering here. Try to get the jump dust to bounce minion a little bit forward there. We saw that a couple times, the way that King Africa has been navigating the space of minions. Red Eye Am Not is locked in this corner, and FDing for dear life is King Africa, with no meter to your name outside of first. I'm gonna hold the corner. Go, 2P2K, press it out. Just when you think you're out, they pull you right back in, Zero. And we're trying to build up this positive bonus, so this is a nice boom for King Africa, so we can go to the next round. A little bit ahead on the meter game for first. Try to sneak in a throw and look at the trouble that it caused you. Red Eye am not. Oh my god, the chip damage. He's upstart, oh, you're dead. Geez. King Africa still sitting at set point, though. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I looked at the wrong health bar. I looked at the wrong health bar. Excuse me. Game five. Game five. So at set point, he's gonna be fine. Jobber. Needs two more rounds. You're right. You're right. Sorry, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy, bro. Yeah, too much spinning. <laughs> too much churning. All the churn. Churning into the next game. Final game here between these two for winner semis. Who will go into winner's finals against Jack? Jobber is dizzy. That, that, wait, actually, yeah, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm married to Kai? Oh, no, that, that's not too bad. But here we go. Oh, this no! is the wild assault. Right, nice. Actually, get the pickup thanks to the minion. How is the minion Ooh. able to let go oh. like that? Please tell me you're blocking. Oh, you already have the 2K active. Oh. All right, but 2K2D, this is getting scary here. 
It's been these small errors that have cost King Africa games before, but we do get the carry here into the corner. Tap dust. YRC, but the big anti, I can't believe it. The two as coming in clutch. Thank God. That yes, was horrifying. That still could have been a jump to us. I thought for sure that's what we we're going to see. The white wild assault does cover the skies just a bit. Good back dash from King Africa. Yeah, and you can see why wild assault has been the lifeblood here for red. I am not without that tool. It's going to be even more of a difficult matchup. Here it is. The Elysium Driver sending you through the wall. King Africa now at that point and has the advantage with the positive bonus and that hard knockdown. Locking it down one more time. Calls out the 2K attempt with a throw after BRC. We're already in the skies. Seeing the reversal. Oh, wow, landed on it. Uh, that was a very weird situation because we already spent the second jump. And the quick low. King Africa comes out on top. 3-2 stopping. It is biking to show things up. And Danny does go back to the Kai Kisuke. So good to see there. Yo, the 6P of Kabari and back into Stun Edge. Us too. Danny with the great corner carry here. Nice far slash. Three art. Massive damage leading up into this round here. Danny in complete control. No matter which side we're going out here. 5K. Sneaky it was able to cheek move. check with the throw after. Okay. Wow, already 50% life lead and tried the same thing, right? Try to go for that lingering 5k jump slash approach in immediate first. Winty trying to fight for dear life with another jump slash here. OTG pick up. Yo, Danny with these big damage combos to finish out the round. Complete control. Didn't even get to the chorus. Right. Damage output is just superb with Kai here. Up against Spike and she can also return the favor, but the way that Danny has been navigating the screen space. You know, that was a very interesting interaction at the round start with the 6P to clash with Kabari. I don't think that was intentional. I think it was just to avoid Kabari to begin with. So the clash did work out in Danny's favor. Nice jump slash immediate first. Wow. Close slash here does get the victory for that corner position. Shatter knockout. The parry? Oh, and I think we do try to vary the timing on that. Yo, reversal. Nice. Ride the lightning. And you straight through the corner as well. Not going to get away with that for free against Danny with meter. Nice. Hey, wheeled up, trying to go for those overheads. Danny is just blocking all of it into the DP. The hero burst, though, from Winty. And the DP is going to close out that round. That is tough. Now Danny gets complete control this round. A couple six Ps to make jump slash almost negligible here. And a quick dash cancel right under the wild assault. Just get the five P corner pressure. How, how that risk gauge was massive to get that damage output. Danny does get called out for the food arc attempt. All right. Yeah, follow up there from the Kabari, able to hit its mark. Not quite able to get the kill, was hoping that that 5H would actually get the wall spot, but that's fine, we still bring it back. There's the gunshot in the end. I feel like that just sent a message. They could have done it any other way, but you had to blast. DP. Another counter hit, Fudriarch pick up. Right. Into the 5k. Very nice. Slides right on in. Then one touch away is all that Danny needs to fit. 6p. That could have been bad. It is bad, honestly. A single touch. Again, Danny up 2-0 in the set. 
I remember this is the loser side of the bracket here. So unfortunately, whoever goes down is eliminated. Winty's going to have to dig deep. But has been performing well here, fighting hard. Yeah, I mean, this far slash. Far slash meme in the chat. You know, far thank slash you so much. So good. It's so good. It's Even cool. though they nerfed it a little bit too, right? Making it just a bit slower. It's still an incredibly strong Jesus. button. And we just do it again. Why not? At round start, look at the range that you're at. It's an excellent button for Kai. Yep, Again, sure. like it for sure. Like she could try to go for parry there, but that's just a ridiculously hard read to make. So you could try to pop the back dash in the Kabari there. Jump Slash was able to recover in time off the heavy stun edge. Good air throw. Oh that. my god, bro. The ride, the lightning reactions here from Danny. Feels like he is always buffering them. Jesus. And now sitting at set point. Just watching for the opportune moment to pull that off. Not, not a DP. Ride the lightning. Yeah, I mean, the bigger reward, right? From corner, it goes corner to corner, allowing you to get even more offense. And speaking of offense, here we go. Get the pick up JH into JD. Burst comes out from Winty. That's the last burst you're going to get this round. Better make it count. Oh, Red RC goes low. Into the parry. Wow, that was quite the risk for Winty. Does work out. Tethered up, 6P. Full tether combo. We can finish this off here. There we go. Very, very clean there from Winty. Still showing signs of life and fighting back. Absolutely. Okay. The block. Kabari there. Into Yo. another parry. Calling out these turns from Danny, saying it is not your turn yet. No kidding. That's a risk in and of itself, because if you whiff your parry entirely, that's going to be a problem. Danny will get a full punish off of it. Either way, Danny returning a favor with a life lead of their own. 2S does get blocked. Play this neutral ground here. Opens up. So unfortunate. Crazy. Just the offense there. Those wild assaults to push all the way to the wall. Tap dust. Blow you up with the overhead though is going to be mfcr versus mac men's coming up here some leo versus anji action so instead of reflecting on himself, so uh, really a big part of dealing with mfcr is just trying to figure out how to play around his dp game his dp game is so so strong of course having a really strong dp on leo as well but that's not the only thing that's strong about mfcr he's just a solid player all around great fundamentals great whiff punish game with the 2d and the 5k See how this one shakes out with MFCR, of course, being very explosive. Dance right through some of these fireballs. It's going to be critical. Approach. Nice burst. You got the space you're looking for. I can't believe we backdashed away. That was a throw opportunity there for MFCR. I wasn't ready for it. Pick up with the 2K there. Very nice. I think with the Nagiha. Overhead. Oh, the burst. Not going to get caught today. Side so swap one more time with the back turn. Nice cancel the throw. RC with the turbulence to get our shatter. Good steal away here from MFCR. That was certainly supposed to be Macman's game there, but with the last ditch effort first from MFCR, decided to take charge of the situation. Really solid there, but here we go. Back dashing, putting yourself into the corner. Those dash two pace from MCR are so terrifying, but a nice punish with the 2P. DP right on you. But there's the first. Get off me. Give me some space, man. Okay. A couple headbangers. Close slash with your. Oh no, max range. That turbulence did not connect here. Full scoop. The tweet has been sent. It does arrive. It's a full thread. Oh, but we are swinging, swinging a little too far at the fences, allowing MFCR to find the gap to escape right over that far slash. Blocking the 5D. Nice. Side swap 2P. I mean, it's a quick little button there for Anji. Nice PRC to avoid the blue tweet here. That should be death. 
Yeah, I'm watching this health go. The turbulence did seal it out. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. But now, time to keep the ball rolling here for MFCR. I do believe, uh, going back uh, with MFCR versus MacMans, that traditionally MFCR does come out on top in this matchup. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if MacMans is able to change the future here, alter the outcome, and eliminate MFCR. Could go with Sin, right? Like, I think Sin might be a nice contender in this matchup. We saw MacMans represent that earlier in the bracket, but. Do you go from your comfortability of Anji for Sin? Like, Sin didn't really get the matches they were looking for. I believe it was against um, uh, Happy Chaos, right? Earlier in the bracket that we had pulled out the Sin. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I I could see a Sin swap, but I I don't think you're going to go for that in this one. I think no. you want to stick with the character that you're most familiar with against a foe like MFCR. Oh, jeez. All right, your burst. 2S does still follow through. Right, yeah, there's still the burn for the word. All right, 6P, put you back to the corner. I love the 6P immediately into the overhead. Ooh, no 2K for you. Red RC pickup. But missed it. That's all right. The course correction here is that, whoops, I dropped. No big deal. Let me throw. He does get sent, submitted here at low. Whoa, what if we still get success or 6P for? Oh, and challenging the axe kick. That's mm -hmm. huge too. Being able to react to that there with your 2P. That was very good. I mean, constantly applying pressure, setting out the tweet one more time to, you know, kind of stagger a lot of those hits that become available and making MFCR's life a little more difficult on that forward dash approach. And there it is, big P right into the wild assault. And we're trying that forward dash approach. It is working out now, just the threat of 6P as well. Utilizing that, wow, I love it. PRC on the 5D startup to get the low. But we're gonna blow right through with the super. Not gonna kill, but we have the RC. Indeed. <laughs> There's so much rage from Red, my goodness. <laughs> Another dash through. Tried to IBFD on one side, but MFCR ejecting immediately with another dash through. And again, same situation, but this time around, got a little bit too much space. 5K interrupts. Four advancing normal, so that does help out. Great activation from MFCR. All right, nice back dash. Tries to punish with the 5K, but it's not going to work. All right, this is, the, this is really strong spacing right now for Magmans. You don't want to go in too hard. You're going to give MSCR enough room to escape. But instead, we give up too much space. No RC. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. The whiff gold burst. Hear so me out. Just... What if you made gold burst full screen? All right, relax. I mean, you know, I can understand because now it doesn't give you immediate resources, right? It just builds a little bit over time. Right. So I could right. I could understand the idea, but I'm gonna need you to relax. Yeah, no, nah, don't do that, don't do that. But here we go, jumping right into the next one, MFCR up 2-0. Damn it, just crazy, crazy performances here so far tonight. So many 3-0s and 3-1s we have seen. And MFCR trying to make this no different here against MacMan. Fireball and still able to challenge with Dance, but right after MFCR with a quick grab. Nice. Oh my god, you are getting mixed. Blended up. Nice throw, nice throw. Right, so last shot to stay in this here. Slash challenges here. Another low after the Fujin series. But we do not care about a butterfly or a bird. He dashed right on in. That's Macman showing so much respect to MSPR. Was afraid to go for some kind of pressure because of the threat of the flash kick. First. 
Nice dash on 2K. Got that hard knockdown at the very least with the close slash. And no fear of the parry. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting cheeky with it. There it is. Oh, but speaking of parry, we got a parry of our own. All right, still in this. It's on the wire, but can Magmans do it? We have 50 meter. We can't get touched. Back. Six piece trying to interrupt their knock at the door because the fan toss is not going to be at the right angle for you here. MFCR taking it 3 0 over Magmans. Yeah, you've been eating good this week. You know, like these are the couple weeks here are going to be really nice for you. Bro, Garo? Oh, I'm eating good with Garo. Oh, here we go. Oh, cross up right off the bat. There's the burst early from Danny, recognizing the danger of being that close to the corner against Walter. But this is the thing about Milia. Even the, she doesn't need to be in the corner, right? Just an absolute threat anywhere on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just her spatial navigation. You're being able to navigate the screen with these hops. And you see that Danny is really trying to challenge it out here with these jump slash. There we go. 2K sent straight through the wall. Tap does good block here, though, from Walter. Small lively take that 6P. That's going to be the round right there. On edge, and again, able to just immediately re jump, go for the jump slash, and usually an airspace controlled by Milia. Kai can kind of contend with it, thought the cross through was going to happen, and it's same side slash. Yeah, and there's the burst again from Danny. Danny really not wanting to get put up against the wall, but like we said earlier, Milia is a threat no matter where you are on the screen. She can just mix you left and right. Of course, the wall becomes more of a threat because that cross through is very scary. Yeah, that's gonna get worse too in the next patch. It's gonna be the fun part. I can't wait to see the mixes that this character is gonna have. All right, shock state. And I do love that we're taking right to the skies where Fujay Arc is not gonna lock you down. How is Danny in danger? No, 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 no. This, that, that was bias for, for Walter here. How was Danny in danger? Put the 2P immediately into the 6P as well. Here comes the mix up. Lands empty in to throw. Beautiful stuff there from Walter taking game number one. And Walter, you know that they are excited for this upcoming new special move. Yeah, Melia, <laughs> Artemis going to be hitching you with the drumstick into the biscuit. Melia players are, they are thriving. Yeah, you know, I think it's a, a great addition to the character's toolkit. It's going to help her become that much more of a threat in the game with the crossers that we do see anyways. I think it helps out a lot without implementing pin. Let it yeah, go. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, pin's gone. <laughs> okay. All right, we're so back. Oh, nice. I actually really like that decision there from Danny jumping into the air and blocking. To make sure that you don't get caught in any kind of tricky capel mix-up. Nice. Got your tap dust pickup. Top with the 5K. We're playing hacky sack. Dash back, slash. Stop trying to reach that 2P. Right, 2P, round start here. Able to get that interrupt on the approach from Walter. Oh my goodness. Gold burst. It's the time to turn this around for Walter, who took that game, but... Looking a little worse for wear right now because Danny with this strong, lively red RC does, does get the tap to splatter one more time. There's your game. Look at that. Danny answering back with a perfect, so far, a competitive set. Yeah, that damage output from Danny has been really strong all throughout the night. And the way that Danny has been able to correct and confirm a lot of these wonky situations, whether it be through a tap dust or an RC to get that extra lift on the opponent to make sure they could at least carry to a corner situation. Just very smart maneuverability from Danny. I, I can't 
you know, compliment that enough from Danny's play throughout the last few weeks of this game. I mean, yeah, Kai just has all the tools to push you to the wall, right? And if you can't get there through lifting them up to get extra juggles, you just spend the 50 meter for the ride of the lightning, and there you are. But here we are with Walter getting the first blood. Burst comes out. Yeah, and just all the better for Danny there because we are close to that corner. Platt just, yeah, just trying to make sure we get that shock state applied. We are, we're just throwing out 6H at max range and sniped out of the skies with the food they are. Yeah, like the double jump here to try to bait out a burst and the second one succeeds. And that's a smart burst bait there from Walter, or excuse me, from Danny because you were still able to pick up the combo. Other players might route for a way to bait out first, but drop it. Danny being very consistent, but Walter with a big turnaround here, challenging back, and now we are about even on resources. Oh, and the 5P there. Always when you see right after the Wild Assault a light normal, the threat of throw is massive. So Danny was trying to go for a, a throw bait there into a huge punish. But Walter, able to withstand it, doesn't fight the bait, and closes out the round. Yes. You get shock state apply with that Tiger Knee stun edge. One here applied. Oh, big with punish on the far slash. One more time in the corner. Opens up. Little brown for Danny. Answering back in a perfect. Oh, nice. we got the room that we're looking for. Yeah, pushing out of that corner, just a single step, enough for that far slash. Yeah, absolutely. Just impeccable spacing there from Walter. Yeah. Able to get in, sets up the mix Ooh. again. This time the disc is just gonna hit. Danny caught blocking the wrong way, but running right into that far slash. A little bit of a drop confirmed there from Danny. Maybe uh, it was trying to decide between the Food Rock and the Dire Eclair what they wanted there, but it's not going to matter. Gets the Fast RC into the close slash of 2 1. What a turnaround here. I mean, Danny in control time and time again. Even when they kind of lose that control a little bit, they're still able, again, just that course correction. Yeah, and the course correction is such an important part at this high of a level. Being able to fix things right on a dime and turn them into gold. It's true, it's true. Without having to spend gold bursts. Oh, try to 6P off rip. Tired of the threat of far slash. Oh, D cross up, jump heavy slash, but a beautiful burst position there for Danny. We'll take that. Small price to pay to try to guarantee victory, but Walter does find a way to escape by crossing under. Oh, trying to slide out him with the Stun Dipper. Great blocks there from Walter, though. That was a tricky situation landing into that close flash. Wow! Okay, I like this round the 2K pickup. Are you kidding me? Not bad at all. Not bad here from Walter. Trying to take this all the way to Game 5, which would be our only third Game 5 of the night here if we can manage it. Has to hold on to it because of shock state and see what's coming up next. Got out of dodge with the capel that definitely helped, but you almost put yourself right back into a corner with that movement. And here we are once again. Locked in. I can't believe the Fudre arc hit there. Yeah, perfect there from Danny. Now sitting at set point. Try to eliminate Walter from the bracket right here, right now. Zero. There's the DP. That's crazy. That is. What, a perfect on the second round in these last two games here from Danny? Very consistent play right now. Getting thrown, though. Walter with a deep cross of jump heavy slash. Oh. Oh, no! What a backdash for Walter! Walter can send it home, but got the first. Oh, with the JS, though! Walter picking things up before they could fall apart and staying alive. Yes. Now we got to finish putting the pieces back together here to eliminate Danny. This is a huge moment right now. If Walter can pull this off, it does really turn the tide of the rest of this bracket because Danny is such a dominant player week in and week out on TNS.
But it is, again, like you said before, a testament to how players can level up in these brackets every single week. Where one continues to dominate, another does come up to take the spot of the previous Titans. But Far Slash runs into it, equalizes everybody, no matter how strong you are. There you go, setting the shock state up, push you far away, but still gets caught by the 2k 2d. Everyone falls prey. Here we go, oh, Walta. Geez. Bad Moon, fast RC. Break the glass. Nice Capel and locking the airspace with jump slash. So you don't get a free escape. Nice sneaky throw after the close slash. Good delay from Danny. Heavy on the stun edge into stun dipper. Ooh. Send it home. Yep, glass shatter, stone cold here from Danny. That point again. As burst available. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little uh, fast and loose here with these uh, vapor thrusts. Yeah, the vapor thrust can be your downfall too if you're a little too casual with them. Catches the fastball with the close slash. Ooh, yep, go. Get the hitbox can't chase stuff like that. There's no 6P for you, and that does allow for a 2K 2D pickup. No, no that was white wall. That was a wall assault input, but we didn't realize we were out of burst meter. Walter might have looked at the wrong burst because Danny did have wall assault available. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my though. God! Off the capel? Are you kidding me? All final right, final game, final round. This is it. Why does this feel like Grand Final Zero? <laughs> right, I mean, that's the caliber of player that we do have. I can't believe we got the pickup after the Capel cross up here. Nice. Right, let's throw. Just set up, nice, falling. Oh man, that close slash does try to lock things down, but Walter is looking like a grappling style Milia and maybe able to lock it in, sends it with a spin cycle, and you're right, does succeed. Walter with a massive turnaround here. Going up against a bear. All right, they mixed me. They uh. scared me for a second. They mixed me with the names. Mm. That's what took MFCR so long. You need to go to the menu, make a name change. All right. So these two actually uh, were the winning team of the very first bridal bout, I believe, uh, the 2v2 tournament series for Guilty Gear Strive. And now here they are facing each other. The, they also had a, a great matchup as well back at DreamHack Atlanta, where we definitely saw how strong this matchup is for Leo, for sure. Mm -hmm. Last one, last one. Red and a boy was the one that just happened. The very first one, chat, was Red and MFCR. I know my lord. Yeah, don't question Jobber. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. But here we go. Oh don't question God. what I am not. A perfect to kick things off. What bad matchup. Indeed. Indeed. But like we said at the start, right, it's just... That initial knockdown is critical for Gold Goons, being able to find... Yeah, these cross moves are going to be a nightmare. That is the... Oh my god! Slow down! Hey! Uh-oh. Hold up. It is kind of a bad matchup. Here we go. Burst coming out. Ah. Immediately shutting down the drone just by sending in the fast fireball. There's the DP blowing up your cross-up attempt, and that's going to be around here for MFCR. I, uh, I don't know what to say about that, because you got left right at all day long in that round. There was no grab attempt. Uh -oh. MSCR just waiting? This Hold is up, a big this controller. Big. Red, take him. Okay. Take him. You should just set it. What are you waiting for? Red. Oh. Red, you take those. Yeah. Why would you sit too there? Too honest. Too I'm honest. Swinging. swinging free. Red's too oh. honest of a player here. No, 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 no. When the bell rings, you keep going until. I didn't, I didn't hear a whistle. Oh, oh no! And the burst baited. Look, you know what, Red? I appreciate it. I I respect it. I respect it. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I'd be hitting buttons there. All right. I wouldn't let that happen to me. That's for dang sure. Let's see how this plays out. 
the stomp. Already gonna get whip punished with the 5k. All right, well, here we go. Red starting off strong here. White Wall the solid. Get that guard break in the corner. And the bait on the DP. That is exactly what you need to succeed against MSPR. Jesus. Yes. Overdrive. Was able to get that kill. Wow. Go for jump dust there. We still get that 6P startup. So it does trade in favor of MSDR. Here we go. MSDR fighting back, though. Our knockdown with the white wall assault. Run through is a huge option. But instead, whoa! The jump up. Of, my, was that backdash down BRC into the 2K? I missed it. I was trying to catch that replay again. Right, but we do have the back turn slash. Oh, what a jab. Someone got the clip. I know you do. Share it. We'll see it. We'll talk over it. All right, but here we go. MCR trying to go up 2-0 now. Massive round. Ooh. Wow, still able to turn around and get that 2P, but a throw from MCR. Trying to give Red a taste of their own medicine here with those guard breaks. Nice 2P on the run through. It kept catching the lagging hitbox, or hurtbox, I should say, on the back down with the system. Put Leo in the coffin. One more interaction is available for MFCR here. R slash series. Keeps swinging wild assault to carry to the corner. Oh no! And again, the air throw we already took to the skies there! The Yo. lowest. That Yo. might be one of the lowest altitude air throws I have seen oh outside of throwing God. someone's back dash in X. Holy smokes! How do you contend with that interaction? I almost <laughs> missed the fact that there was a drone right on top of it. So even if the super came out, it was still covering the super because of drone. Yo, Red Eye am not the quick reactions here. Quick setups make this character move at the speed of sound. Yeah, this big boy can move. MFCR putting the name as DreamHack Atlanta champion. That is a uh, that is a hard that is a shot to Red Eye am not because they defeated Red Eye am not in that exact tournament. Tech on there, and maybe that was the power up that Red Eye have not needed. Said, All right, that's how you want to play it. I got something for you. This is how I've evolved. Dude, the DRC though, overhead. I mean, we did see Red Eye have not say, uh, if you want to lose your channel points, then you voted for MFCR winning here. That happened in chat. Uh oh, with throw. Oh. Yeah, we weren't trying to go for throw there. Might have, uh, you know, gotten a little bit of oopsie of the same thing. Looked at the wrong burst and tried to go for Wild Assault there, and it's going to pay handsomely for that. Man. Just put on the Yeah, with the 2P pickup, tried to get the jumping Behemoth Typhoon to wall bounce. Not quite close enough for any follow throughs. I love that spacing that we're staying at, though, right? Just outside the DP range. Very great call out there. And also throwing out drone at that range. Oh no! Opposite side here. Oh, and still got the parry. Good awareness from MFCR. Here we go, the drone is coming. I can't believe it, 2D. Overhead, wasn't able to block. Already had FD out there, so we were kind of committed to the crouch block, but a throw. Both players are swinging for it in this final round with the air throw. OTG, Red, I am not. Up 2-1. Red trying to rob everyone of their channel points. Everyone to vote for MFCR and is that one game away from eliminating him from the bracket. Red told everybody, if you want to lose your channel points, you vote for MFCR winning. Make no, the said, Babe said if you like up. your channel points, vote for MFCR. <laughs> Was it like? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling people to vote for MFCR because I'm not winning this. That's crazy. <laughs> that is what he, he did say. I missed this one. I'll give Miguel a game because he gave me a holiday Missouri 2023 medal. It's only fair. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
2K interrupt on the dash. Now the drone sends away. Jump D whiffs entirely. Yep, here we go. RSD puts you into a mix up even though you blocked the DP. Oh, we tried to go for a reversal PRC, but got caught clicking there. And MFCR was just the absolute blender there mid screen. Max range there with the slash. Nice throw on the white wild assault. Nice massive life lead here for MFCR. Trying to answer back to tie it up in games. Nice throw, delay pressure. Yeah, it is going to be able to kill, though, and now we have yet another game five tying things up. And I see chat asking, uh, uh, you know, how difficult is it to learn Gold Lewis? I played Gold Lewis as my main character for a while, so honestly, Gold Lewis is not very difficult. The Behemoth Typhoon inputs are not too difficult once you get used to them. The yeah. hardest part about Gold Lewis when it comes to performing with the character or technical-wise is the dash cancel behemoths, the Kara behemoths. That's the most difficult thing. But as a casual, you don't need those. You don't need those to swing the coffin around and have a good time and do a lot of damage. Exactly. You're going to get rewarded for a lot of your hits. And as long as you turn into the butter, you're going to be just fine. Absolutely. There we go. Speaking of car behemoth. Oh, jeez. Mecha fan, boy. I'm a mecha fan, too. And that's a $100 contribution. Wow. What is that? Two hundred and forty-three dollars in the match read Thank you so very much. Yeah, Mecha fanboy, incredible contribution. Thank you. The generosity tonight has been incredible. Here we go. Look at that risk gauge. That was actually really big for Red because that damage might have been enough to kill if we were at nearly max risk on that hit. So getting to stay alive just a little bit longer. Oh, the reset off the 2P! Set point. Go. Does, does with though. Cross through, nice scoop. On the drone, one more time here. Okay. Oh my god, using the wild assault there to score the hard knockdown was huge. Into the super, are you dead? No! One more touch, one more touch. Set up the drone, play this safe, Red. Don't need to get too risky as Necroid comes through with the $56.10. Thank you so much for the support. I clean 300 in the pot. And there it is, JD for Red. I am not taking down MFCR. Goodness gracious. I mean, what a way to round out that series. Gold Lewis coming out on top over the troublesome matchup here. Great voice actor celebrities, an arcade se uh, section that had a Metal Gear 3D arcade machine. They have M Bomb there, they had Guilty Gear. We have a spectacular tournament series happening there, and one going into winners finals Jack versus King Africa. All right. And again, this matchup I feel like is pretty strong for Jacko as well, just being able to smother Happy Chaos, which is exactly what you are seeing here. Elysium Driver, 87 seconds on the clock, and the round's almost over. Yeah, it's going to be the exact same situation we saw earlier in the bracket with uh, King Africa going up against Hazen, uh, where we very quickly smothered Happy Chaos, like you said. And the fact of the matter is, Happy Chaos not being able to pull the trigger on minions makes it a little bit difficult to remain safe in a full screen situation, whereas King Africa, unfortunately, in trouble right now. So in this matchup, you're going to have to do exactly what Jack is doing, right? Play the close range game. Utilize your strong fundamentals and your strong footsies tools and buttons, and especially pressure, because it really is. It feels like whoever gets the first knockdown, it really starts to run train. That's totally fair here. Oh, nice call out on the Wild Assault. You had that beautiful minion setup that we see time and time again from King Africa. And again, this is what we saw before, but Jack was still able to come back and win it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. But the dash up close slash does seal it out here. Probably tried to attempt a. Ooh, I don't want to say a throw because that's that one frame, but it was meaty enough of a slash where I think it probably stopped it. Here 
we go. 5k. Got the anti-air pickup. Another minion set up on top of it. She's now we're out of the corner here. Jack it will still keep that pressure. Roll through. Doesn't block the opposite side. And look at this. Yep. Hard knockdown. Davis X Machina. I see you, chat. It's always a good matchup for Jacko if your back is up against the wall, all right? But not looking too good for King Africa right now with Jack taking game number one. Some right. really solid, really solid comebacks there from Jack. King Africa was really able to establish a lot of pressure early, squeeze out a lot of damage early on as well. But Jack, unfazed, sticking to the game plan here, just finding that one opportunity to start running their own mix and then not allowing King Africa to escape. Yeah, that's uh, the big turnaround. That close range aggression makes it very difficult for Jacko to kind of keep up with. You do have to call out these roll throughs, but the stagger pressure from gunshot. Oh, and but you try to take aim on it. Far away for that one there. Quick minion drop. I'm not sure if we try to soccer kick a little bit earlier or try to interrupt the run through or run up by Happy Chaos there. Oh, there we go. Jumping right on you with the Goomba Stomp. Day you sex to send you through the wall. Question is, is it enough to kill you? Absolutely. <laughs> I just Question had to see the first oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 2D to kick things off. Mortal Counter going to get a full conversion all the way to the corner. Ooh, let's lock it down with another minion toss. Slide with 2D. Nice. Got the throw. And once again, smothered by the minion setup. Elysium Driver. Should be able to close out the round. I mean, for sure. Yeah. 100%. And Neo Judai coming through with the raid. Thank you so much. Hope your stream went well. And y'all are just in time for winner's finals here. Harassing with that 2S and that 2K. Great range on those normals and gets caught trying to throw tech. Ooh, couple good back dashes there. Good stuff from Jack. That's Wild Assault. Got the card break. That does allow for a minion setup here. It's another one. Minion's gone. Tries to go for soccer kick and whipping entirely, giving Jack the opportunity to jump out. Oh, oh Elysium Driver off of the wall. Bounce. Very nice stuff there from King Africa. Positive bonus already. No! Wow, too far away from breaking yeah. the wall. That super is always so finicky. One touch. Can we survive here? Just have to FD for your life. And that's easier said than done when it comes down to minions giving you something else to worry about here. Sometimes it's 4v1, bro. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes you pull out a gun that never misses for some reason. Well, not fair either. Unless you go for hip fire, then sometimes it misses, but. Okay, so one all. And just as a reminder, it was 3 2 for King Africa to advance over Hazen, so. That is the cadence that we're at right now for Happy Chaos matchups. Obviously, Jack, different type of Happy Chaos player, was not an easy feat here. That concentration going down, and King Africa did get a whole lot out of it there. That's potential for King Africa to set up minion tosses, get them out in the field, but the way that Jack was moving back to the mid screen would have made minion setups a little tricky to kind of work with here because you can't get those consistent sandwich setups that we do see in the corner. Here we go. Kids are out to play. Nice, just IAD completely disengaged from the situation and clip the aggressiveness with the 2S. And we got the mask on. Ooh. More stagger here. Going to back off to try to get another minion set up there. Nice, got the pullback for stagger pressure one more time, but we're low on minion gauge here. Oh my god, the wrist pistol. gauge though! Oh, yo, yo, oh, yo. How much damage is this going to do? I mean, it's not killing, but it'll hurt. It'll hurt. Just barely staying alive. That was mass, mass. Full risk. Yo. I'm trying to say mass. I couldn't get it out. Well, we're cursed though. 
No mask for the next round. Nice tag. King Afka looking in trouble here. Yeah, and that's the problem about being in that full screen range. Is now that you're cursed up, it's going to be tough for you to throw out minions. You already have to have that preemptively set up there. There we go. Straight to the kick throw. OTG get the gunshot as well. Beautiful back dash. There we go, Cross under great stuff here from Jack, or excuse me, from King Africa. Yeah, and Jack now with no resources, about to build up half of that burst, but we oh. go for the one, heal some of it. That's so smart. You don't want to give him an opportunity to have Deflect Shield available. Nice, we see the driver. Oh. Not quite cranking Ooh. again, I was wondering. I forgot to see where the risk gauge was by the time we got that counter hit, and that was enough to get a kill. Two to one, King Africa. Okay, okay. Like I said, King Africa coming into TNS and making a splash. This is not a name that I recognize in the TNS bracket, right? I've seen King, Af King Africa before, but never seen them in a TNS bracket. If this is their first TNS that they have entered, this is a crazy performance. Absolutely. With 2D, I mean, look at how airtight a lot of this jacko pressure is. Like we had a low minion right there. Jack didn't challenge it, so it was able to get a strike, which allows his corner position. I kind of remember that early burst. Not actually, you not seeing it as a detriment, but seeing it as a success to get that corner position. And Jack has to fight their way out and does actually get this corner carry. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Reload those bullets. I always worry about the extended delay. Right? Like we saw the quick pull out for the hip fire, and at least I heard that sound effect before we got to the Dave's X box in the second one. Two for two. Still 100 meter here on King Africa's side. This is not a lost cause versus the gunshot. That's not gonna save you, got FD. Oh, the blocks! Oh no! Into Elysium Driver lock out the burst! What a comeback there! You're kidding me! That really turns the tide here. I mean, granted, we had a second burst that round, but that's how effective it was. This will to win, Zero. This fighting spirit here from King Africa. <laughs> well, here we go. You're getting caught into the blender now. The five Ds. <laughs> Another bad situation, but or at least up and around. So this is kind of okay to carry into the next round. You're trying to stay alive as long as you can. Just to make sure you have burst for the next round here. And we do succeed one round of peace here in this game four. Uh oh. Yep. Starting off spending the burst immediately. Nice. Oh no. All right. Burst for burst. We'll take that. Back to neutral here. Jack getting the upper hand. Has curse on deck. Nice throw. How did you see the frames, oh. the possibilities, the cross up, and don't forget about the homie behind you, Super Minions, yep. and able to pump that risk gauge up with this. Yeah, hold on to all this. YRC, it doesn't blow through the minions! Super Minion for you here. And again, we're still chipping away. Counter hit! King Africa, three to one victory in winner's finals. A Jacko in grand finals here at TNS. I am not versus Walter. The Fly Swatter matchup returns here, of course, with the traditional character from Milia. And this is going to be terrifying. I mean, we saw it with Chip, right? Uh, not necessarily with Walter, but this matchup in particular. We'll see. Nice. Got the low after this setup. Okay. You can still keep this running. It's a terrifying pressure to deal with for Gold Lewis in the corner situation without meters. So that is something we have to be leery of in this next. Okay. Still has gone wire C. Oh, wow. Taking the opportunity there off the JD being blocked to send out the drone. Drone's interesting in this matchup because it depends on how aerial the Milia is, right? <laughs> you could send out drone a lot, but Milia players like to take the skies anyway. Most of them. And she's just so good in the skies. Yeah, yeah. Especially against Gold Lewis here because it's going to be tough to try to get your anti here. It's like 2P. It's probably going to be a great one. 6P, obviously, but... At the end of the day, you're trying to lock down Amelia 
and with that aerial mobility, it's going to be tough for Gold Lewis to keep up. Uh, we could get a stray behemoth, but that's also a risk in and of itself. But hey, stray behemoth can change the tide. Yeah, there is certainly that. Jump dust is also a great option for Gold Lewis here, which we'll see a ton of as we make this approach. Oh, wow, a knight adrift with a $10 contribution to Matarino. Thank you so very much. Throwing into the pot for King Africa. Okay. Well, I mean, look at all this chip damage. Finally gets clipped with the max risk gauge, and Walter is going to lose the round. But Walter is not taking any risks here. Honestly, just playing a very solid and sound game, trying to stay as safe as possible, and going for those whiff punishes just like that. All right, mid screen, pass ball to end up on the same side. Oh, the blender. It's too real. Jeez. Oh, no, wrong direction here. I don't, I, I mean, you know, you got the corners, so I guess that still works out, but was that intentional? Yeah, I think, I think we wanted to just send Walter back into the corner there to keep Melia locked down because controlling Melia's movement is how you win this match and Red Eye am not getting game number one. Okay. All right, well, Red Eye am not. Put that game on the board here. Yeah, a, a lot of it is utilizing where you're at, setting up the drone as well to try and force Melia into the air. Maybe you're not necessarily getting hits on her mid screen, but you're trying to prevent her movement and walk her to the corner because when she can't move away, that's when you can force her to block. And when she's blocking, that's when Gold Lewis is winning. Yeah, it's always tough to be blocking against Gold Lewis in general because once you start blocking, it's kind of like the Gruda impact that you deal with, except a massive behemoth typhoon with a big counter hit problem. Here we go, getting stuffed out of the drone startup. And now it's time for Walter to play. Look at these, just letting the combos drop in the what? air for the reset. Why is he actually keeps Walter in the corner? RC does get the overhead, out of dodge with the Capel, and another overhead. Nice, 2K2D 2 pickup. How many overheads? Three, four overheads? <laughs> you gotta keep them guessing. Fair enough. I'd love to know your next move. Sends the full burst gauge there for aggression with the wild assault. This is why. No. Right. Stop yeah. from moving. Yeah, it's so important because that is going to be the weakness of Gold Lewis here, right? Like we've seen, once we get to that aerial navigation, it's so difficult for Red to make that answer back, to try to get an anti or even interrupt. 2P is always that great option. I will preach that until the cows come home for uh, Gold Lewis here. It's such a good button for that character, but the mobility of Milia makes it so difficult to try to interrupt with. Okay. Aircar. Slash pickup. 5D. No hard knockdown, which means he can wheel back to neutral, though. Oh, he's. Uh -oh. Yep, laser. Caught the sky. Now try to navigate. And look, the walls are closed. And we still got the two armor white wild assault to pick it up. Lockdown with drone. The FD for your life. Whoa, what a 6P. Yeah, we're going for the coast to coast confirm. Jumping back down into the corner. There's the counter hit. Gold Lewis is still alive here. Not yes. enough meter for Walter to get the kill. Yeah, that's the wrong meter. I was looking at the 50% was certainly in favor of Red and Walter with a chase down to take that victory. Yeah, one apiece here to decide who is going to go on to face Jack in losers finals. Now, this will, of course, be a run back for Walter. If Walter can take down Red Eye, I'm not going to get the run back against Jack, who won the very first set 3-0. That's right. And on the flip side here, Red Eye, I'm not is trying to fight through this gauntlet to get the run back against King Africa, which is the one that sent them to losers. Oh, my goodness. So then, yeah, we do have that strong run, you know. Here we go, time to ride the birthday train once again. Send out the drone. Good block of the cross up here, very deep. 
just got out of dodge in the space that we're looking for for that uh, far slash opportunity. Because we're getting a little dangerously close to some throw territory there. Whoa, the the hitbox met JS time third. Yeah. But there we go, throwing the car behemoth. Damage difference though. Walter look a little worse for wear. Nice fastball, close slash. The hair car to pick up the corner. Oh no, didn't have a cancel there. PRC pickup for aerial route, bad moon. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, honestly, odds of bursting there would be pretty tough, but that could have been super. You already had the wall splat, could have guaranteed kills. You put yourself in a position where Red Eye and not could have made that comeback. Yeah, Maybe unfortunately, there, Red not PRCing the whiff behemoth. Probably wasn't expecting uh, Walter to get in that quickly with 5 mm -hmm. Nice. White Wild Assault to chase down. Good jump slash. JS is going to be a big part if your best tool to challenge Milia in the air. Oh no. Yeah, good night. Good night, Princess. <laughs> and now a round of peace, trying to get that one foot four, that one step ahead. See Walter just trying to stay as airborne as possible to prevent blocking. Yeah, because we saw that lingering stampede you know, that was trying to interrupt for an anti-air would have given that hit stun that we're looking forward to at least get the corner carry pickup or even just a good amount of damage with the Behemoth Typhoon, the corner carry. Walter, run up throw. Nice disc set up the jump heavy slash Walter up to one. All right, Walter, I see you. This is pre-patch pre Milia. It's still terrifying to deal with against uh, Gold Lewis because you are literally getting into a situation where you're fighting uh, such a beast of offensive power where if you get caught by a stray hit, you're dead as Milia. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, we say it all the time, you know, against Chip, the fly versus the fly swallow, but that applies to this matchup as well. And arguably, Milia is buzzing around in the sky more than Chip is. Absolutely true. Well, White Wild Assault to start things off. Jump Dust and another one to hold the corner. Bless the dome with the drone on the way. Jump Chase again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm bursting too. Nice pick up off the wall with a 5k. Good course correct. Sometimes we see Lush Shaker right there, which unfortunately would not get you the wall shatter. So that was important. To have that awareness to make that 5k or the splat. Yeah, very well said. Good observation here. But now, that I'm not locked down in the corner. Still sitting on a lot of meter. Both of them uses it for the YRC and get off me tool just to go back to neutral. Okay, knocking at the door a couple times. Bad move, good blocks. Capel pickup from the opposite side, no less. But miss well, I wonder if that was disc Oki situation that we accidentally delayed but we still got a whiff throw punish walter on match point this could be another huge win for walter as well if we could take down red i am not we want to get that run back against jack oh the capel mixes though being blocked here by red push out that lush shaker was critical to get that space away from red i am not so we can do the jump back nice pick up with the double high here Burst right away. And we're about to get 50% meter here for Walter, so that does at the very least get you. <laughs> the 5P just stuffing you. What a challenge. Such a risky challenge, too, right? Yes. Just out the 5P. Go the low hair car. We do again. Have that. Oh, oh the cross through. Yeah, but Not it's in. Just corner. There it is. That's it. That's it. Ooh. Oh, but Mr. the hair car. It's supposed to be hair car red RC to finish. A little bit too early to pull the trigger, so now we pull full stop break here. Even Don't though let we're it happen, in danger, man. that's okay. Don't let it happen, Walter. Could I mean look at this? Nice double jump out. The backswing of the Behemoth Typhoon. Are we 50-50? Guess it's barely. <gasps> Battering down the doors is Red Eye. I'm not trying to survive, but a quick 2P to stay safe to get the. It's still going to be that instance, right? Of just.
You're trying to dodge a lot. Of, I mean, we just switched to Chip, which was crazy. So not going to Chip to start have, things off here, sticking with Million. I've also met Rat. He has a very fine head of hair. Okay, but have you met Walter? I have not. See? So again, I, I see you, Hotashi. You, you've met, you met Rat. But have you met Walter? All right, you can get 2D. All right, just going for the jump into the Goomba stop immediately. 5D is going to be blocked. Nice back dash here. Not quite able to draw quite yet. We do have a single bullet left in the chamber. Oh, and there we go. Bad Moon with the pickup into the nasty reset. But oh, we tried to reset our reset. Yeah, that's 2K2D. Nice cross up there at the throw. Good awareness here from Walter. Same side, jump heavy. Nice. Got the guard cancel out and still able to get the wild assault. To get that guard crush. Able to get a couple bullets into the chamber. Red RC for a grounded pickup. Doesn't matter. It's hit scan. I don't care which direction you go flying. My gun still hits the mark. Behind the back, the time crisis here. The casual walk up into the close slash. Draw the gun up again. There's the 5D. Everyone gets clipped. Start blasting. And there's the hard knockdown. Right to the safe but we wake up with a gold burst. It's not gonna matter though. The shove with the far slash a perfect for game one for Jack. That's a strong start for Jack here. 3-0 victory last time when they fought in the winter semis finals. Back into the loser side of things. Do we go chip at all in the set? No, we're. St I mean, okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, chat. It was up 2 0 where Walter opted for chip, or was it first loss into chip? That was a different matchup, I believe. Duel one. No, it was Walter Jack on winner's seven. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There was the chip. I think it was after game one they made, they made the switch to chip. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here so far. It was game one switch. All right, so sticking with Millie the whole way. We were right. We were right. Here we go. Ooh. All the blows. Still yeah, holding down back. It, it's very interesting because we'll really see that quick RC high. We do see the low. Like that's become more consistent for Millie's here to kind of bait things out. Because Golden, you're right. You stay floating there. Right, nice. Got that throw. Be able to hold the corner position one more time. Stagger with a steady aim. Ooh. I think we want oh, to drift there. Yeah. Completely out of resources here, but it does not matter. Jeez. I have been seeing more and more Happy Chaos players now, Zero, starting to utilize the focus gauge like it's the Eddie gauge. They're willing to just spend it because they don't care. They know if they have 50 meter available, they can keep the pressure up with the RC in time to get it back. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing of it, right? It's just Happy Chaos was kind of built as time went on to be more of a mix-up character we saw very early shades that um at the outset here but oh my goodness yeah a, a mix-up and a whiff punish character as in he whiffs and punishes you yeah <laughs> but walter swinging back now able to tie up the rounds oh slash does get that counter hit Back dash there. All right, first, yeah, we wanted to burst before we got sent with the 6S mm -hmm. into the Deus Ex, right? Just give us a little bit more breathing room, a little bit more health to work with. But still, out of resources here, just trying to maneuver, thread the needle. Gonna make that forward dash approach. Nice dash cancel here. Got that quick knockdown for the reload. There's a scoop, red RC. We've seen it before. We're trying to carry to the corner here, and we do succeed. Deus X but yeah, being able to play that mix-up game, that is the potential that Umi Show had initially wanted with uh, um, Happy Chaos. And seeing that evolution, right, the, the constant encouragement for players to do that with Happy Chaos. With first the nerf of the full screen zoning game that Happy Chaos has, and now even more so to the position that we see Happy Chaos at at this point in time, where as you get closer, that's you know more beneficial for your concentration gauge as opposed to full screen. So we do have you sitting there dealing with these left-right potentials. And Walter, 
with Johnny. Johnny. Okay, Walter. All right. I want to see it. I want to see it. Four screen situation. The draw is going to be a nice aspect if you can keep Happy Chaos locked into a certain position out of range. But look at the stack of pressure one more time here. Hopefully, we get something going. So I think the idea here, at least for Walter, is to try and utilize the misfighters, the range of the misfighters, mm. to blow up Jack when Jack has the gun out, right? Yeah. I totally get that. But the way we're firing away here, 2D. Time. Biggest issue though in this match, of course, is Yanni's lackluster dash, right? Which means yeah. his zoning game plan is much more potent against him. Yeah, he's kind of trying to close the gap, and you want to get set up with draw so frequently here, and you're not going to be able to because of the fact that we're able to bully at such a full screen position. And Chaos does have great buttons to kind of interrupt that dash from Johnny. You have 2S, 2K, 2D is also great tools. Here we go. Once Johnny gets in, there's the knockdown. Ooh, nice. Try to get the shimmy there with the back dash, but unfortunately not able to confirm. Yeah, they able to get the throw, though, in the corner. Very low on that overhead. Uses the wild assault. Wants to hold on to the meter for whatever hell is coming next. Oh, jeez. Nice guard cancel. Miss Finer. After the dash, but you put yourself in a precarious position. Jack able to get another punish opportunity with a hundred tension. We are definitely going to send the super. Well, not enough for the kill though, but things are not looking too good here for Walter. As first, but when you send it, there's the YRC immediately into a close slash YRC right back. You he stripped it. it. Oh no 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 no! Okay, you do get the burst at the last possible moment, but the two P. And that is tragic. Yeah, that was a great call to go for the blue wall assault to strip a little bit of that burst to give you that corner presence opportunity. Well, it's time to find out who the winner of TNS 109 Strive is going to be. King Africa with an incredible performance tonight so far up against Jack here on the loser side of the bracket. All right, nice block of the tap does, but unfortunately close slash will be what opens up King Africa. And because of all the risks, you see the damage. Now loser's bracket, Jack is a absolute terror here. Let's see if we can form a double Luigi, close this out. But right now, Jack is making a statement here, closing out game number one with a perfect. Oh, and Sundercat coming through with $20 into the match arena. Thank you so much for the support. $330 altogether. Sundercat, like Sundere. <laughs> I don't imagine you would know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, continuing. <laughs> Oh, nice. 5P blowing up the minion, but we're sending out even more. Trying to keep things locked down. Nice 5K taking that opportunity to wipe the... Oh, no! That's Happy big. Chaos has had too much tonight. Big here for King Africa. Look at this unrelenting yeah. offense into the mortal counter. All of that Ooh. risk game. <laughs> You're still alive. Yeah, you're still living. <gasps> no, oh. you aren't. No, you ain't. I didn't even realize we had 100 tension. My fault. Psych. Well, 2S gun blasting does have burst this round. Feels his goal. Yo, actually, you threw a wild assault there. That is a small blunder, but it came back after a couple hits. So you back up to 50%. Oh, but that is going to be game number one here in Jack's corner. With a perfect two. Both rounds that Jack won were, were perfects. That is one hell of a way to take game number one here in this grand finals. Yeah, that is certainly a statement to showcase here. You might be a little bit upset about how things went in the last game, but remember it was just one game in the favor of Jack before King Africa really started turning around. It did go one to one to start things off. And then that's when Jack, or excuse me, King Africa finished out the set. Duel one. Let's rock. 
in round third situation. Of course, Jack creating a little bit of space there. Nice stagger, of course, the quick draw. Big counter hit. Damage output. How? So consistent. Jack uh, looking a little worse for wear. Cursed up, but the 2P interrupt, you put yourself in the corner. Exactly where King Afka wants to be with a super minion on deck and keep chipping away here. Yeah, he's getting that 5 even. Nothing really off of it, right? Oh, well. Until we get the throw. YRC races everything off the field. Roll through, doesn't get blocked. We're not spending burst here. That's a round. There's no reason to spend it. I mean, you could think about it if you had like 50 meter, right? Because that would give you a good chance to make a comeback there, but just not worth it in that situation. Absolutely. Did spend it early this one here. That's a nice victory for Jack. Going into this round. A strong resource lead. Not being forced to spend any sort of burst except for Wild Assault. And that's on your own accord, so that's okay. Dust. Yeah, the wall flag both threat matter with wild assault. Jack's looking to send this game home. The stagger pressure does get a single bullet into the chamber. One is all that you need, and that will do. 2 0 lead right now for King or Jack. Yeah, this is uh, pretty convincing right now here for Jack. It seems like they learned their lesson from the first set and especially just riding the momentum there of their loser's finals victory. But this is what I was talking about or we were talking about earlier when we were saying that Jack in loser's side is a terrifying presence. It feels like getting one victory over him is difficult enough. But then he just gets that Zenkai boost, right? <laughs> he yeah, just immediately knows, oh, I know what I did wrong. Let me fix that. <laughs> we came into this one saying, oh, to avoid having to block this pressure is to just not have to block it at all. Make the opponent block. That is simply fighting games. Yeah, I mean, look, the stagger pressure one more time here. Slowly going to build up that risk. It's all the better for Jack if you keep blocking. And already, look at the damage. Yeah, 5D. We're looking like a reset is on the horizon. But King Africa fighting back. Nice. Good swing of kick and does finish the round in a strong fashion. Again, no burst spent. But all spent for Africa here. Roll through. Unst has not been stopped yet. And I feel like King Africa in the last game, if memory serves, was very consistently interrupting a lot of these. We would get throws out of those roll throughs. Now, here we go. Having this corner pressure, though. YRC comes out and that immediately shuts down all the minions. Jack is getting these YRCs in such great scenarios. Nice delay pressure one more time here and burst once more for King Africa. It's the final do or die situation before Jack tries to get a reset. Nice gunshot shuts down one minion. And you see it. King Africa full send with throw does set up the minion sandwich. Slide right on in though with the okay. 2D. Oh, right very lucky. First. That was a very lucky PRC right there. But the tap dust, red RC. Let me show you how it's done. You want it red, right? I mean, purple's a shade of red. But it ain't like this. The back dash throw. Are you kidding me? That was an unreal drop. Jack had that reset yeah. right there. Yeah. Right, we'll back into it again. And sure, King Africa does have first. Yo, the walk back, the fadeaway gunshot. The moonwalk. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's rapid bad. Guard cancel. 50% tension. Let's stank it up. I don't know if you're making the comeback on this one. Yeah, it's a tall order. order. Oh, no. Got you standing up. Quick PRC into the low. Perfect. Jack with a 3-0 reset. P-E-R-F-E-C-T. That's what a reset means to Jack. Oh, wow. You would have done well in the spelling bee. I would have. They should have put me in. I would have won free. You know, that's I, that's probably why. F-R-E-E. -E. Right. That's probably why we didn't get in. Because, you know, much like Sonic Fox being uninvited from the chess invitation, we were just too good. <laughs> you know? Of course I can spell free, Turbo. I am free. Here we go. Jumping into the reset now. 
I mean, but can you dial 911? Look, I thought it's letters, not numbers, all right? So here we go. So far. Look at this danger penalty about to come in on King Africa. Oh no, another roll through. Again, I swear we're getting a different King Africa on this one because I, every single time this roll through has been effective and King Africa at the very least made the adjustment to block it out or at least get these throws. Okay, QD though gets the pick up. Yeah, I mean, it could just be fatigue from running through such a long tournament as well, right? So many tough matches. And Jack is trying to run away with it now. It's not looking good for King Africa. 2D round start. We do get our minion set up, the classic. Nice. Another 2D pickup. We can corner carry here. Oh, I'm not sure that's the route that we wanted. Yeah, that fatigue might be a factor here because... King Africa was very clean up until this point, right? Being able to consistently hold corner positions. It's still a very difficult match, don't get me wrong, because you're going yep. up against Jack, who's very aggressive at the outset, forcing your resource spend a little bit earlier than he hoped, but you still, also have these two, everything that Jacko is juggling here, all right? Yeah. The offense there, it's not straightforward offense. You have to summon the minions, you have to play around with all of them, kind of predict what your opponent is going to do on the defensive scenarios, whether or not you need to put the mask on. But right now we are close in life. King Africa up against the ropes. YRC, let me out. Oh, YRC right back at you. You have burst if you so choose. Oh, never mind. Wild Assault wasn't able to get the shatter that we're looking for. Nice clone setup. We do have 50% again, so we can strip burst one more time. We get this opportunity. All right, set the minion immediately into the throw. Nice, King Africa getting around here. Can we get the first game of the reset? Build up the momentum. Little victories. Little victories are what we need here. And okay. yeah, we just talked about that earlier too, right? The, the proof of growth is even within small victories as you progress through these brackets. Blue RC to slow things down. It's thinking to throw. This is the minion setup that we were looking for with a blocked burst. But Jack does find a way out one way or the other. Here we go, 100 meter on King Africa's side. Gonna get sent through the wall. That's okay, it's back to neutral. This is not a terrible place to be, especially with the resources that you have. Ooh. PRC, I wonder if we wanted to take the skies here, but this PRC to slow down the gunshot opportunity. Does it block YRC? Ooh, be careful, don't overextend with that 2D. You have burst to save you a little bit here. We're gonna challenge these minions, oh but because you were caught looking at the birdie that is minions, it gave King Africa the opportunity to close the gap and with punish your 5P from a distance. Yeah, looking incredibly solid there. Nice, getting that game one is huge. But you see, you mentioned swiping at the minions. Jack has been really consistent, especially in this set here, this grand final set with just doing two 5Ps in a row with that rhythm to swipe both minions coming in, shutting them down. Duels, right? Let's rock. Toss and pull 2K2D. It's okay. But the roll throughs every single time. Such a problem for King Africa here, and already the damage output is getting out of control. And the hard knockdown scenario once again on your back. Difficult place to be, and that is round one here for Jack. A perfect. So many perfects. Take aim, another curse applied. Yeah, no escape. Once I got the hip draw, oh no, 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 no. The agreement check to make sure we're still going. A little bit of a hiccup there. We did at least take away burst from King Africa. I mean, that's gonna be huge. You can run your offense basically for free now, especially with that 50 meter. No resources to protect King Africa. You just have to block. We're out of meter as well. So MP is limited. Now we're set straight through the wall. The back dash. Nice dodge from King Africa. YRC does erase the minion, take the turn back, and roll through on the wild assault. One all in the set. Oh man, this is...
this is stressful, Zero. This is an incredibly stressful grand finals here. Yeah. King Africa just seems to be one step behind Jack here since this grand final started. Yeah, and it's so terrifying now that you have your back against the wall here. Like, just now it's time to lock in because you've gone down a full set Duel in grand one. finals once already. Let's All right, there it is. Dash of 2K 2D. Burst is out early from King Africa. Both these players bursting incredibly early, right? Mm -hmm. Just trying to gain that momentum. Sometimes it feels like whoever gets the first solid knockdown is the one who wins the round. Oh, of course. In this matchup in particular, that's certainly true because you're looking at Jacko being able to set up and Jack on Happy Chaos needs fewer resources to truly get set up for a win condition. Roll through again. There's no stopping it. King Africa has to find an answer to this. Yeah, just decides to hold on to the burst. That's a situation where you could have thought about it, right? Because you had nearly 100 meter, but felt more comfortable just keeping it into the next game to try and get that early momentum. And early momentum is what King Africa is going to get with a well-placed 2S. Yeah, very good. But no burst on deck here for Jack. King Africa can really run this corner opposition. Good stagger with the minion summon one more time. Gets out of dodge and now makes it a little bit of a nightmare to try to challenge these minions on the way. And I like that we pause for a moment before throwing the next minion out. To yes. kind of bait out King Africa there. You mess with the timing, you're gonna get, or excuse me, to bait out Jack. You mess with the timing, Jack's gonna make a mistake there and that's your opportunity to get that punish. Absolutely, I'm glad you noticed that. I was about to point that out. Staggering that rhythm there. You need to change the pace of some of these things because Jack is just too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Got her knocked down here. Able yeah, to chase to that corner. Good throw. So that's a couple bullets left here. Tap does. Kept it safe with a shatter. We could Deus Ex Machina. So get that full reload. Here we go in a scenario where it might be going to game four. Just the gunshot. Hit it with the brain freeze. It did look like, the, did you see her face? The shock, yeah. the terror. <laughs> I ate the ice cream way too fast. Jacko would too. You know, I think a lot of, Sin, absolutely, would be one of those individuals that would do that. I almost feel like Sin is invulnerable to it. You know what I'm saying? You just, you think so? No, 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 no. He's got Whoa. something going on in there. Let's <laughs> rock. Here we go. Rolling right on in. This could be the last game of the night. Oh, a little bit too far, but we just do it again. Massively for Jack right now. <laughs> okay, my bad. I'm not throwing minions anymore, dog. Like, that's cool. Perfect timing here at 2P, 5P. Does get the round here with this shatter. Takes the steady aim. We are on match point for Jack with burst available as well. Of course, King Africa about to build up burst, but it's gonna have to take a lot of damage in the process. So we want to get that first blood. There we go. Pressure is up. Can we bait out the burst from Jack? No! Jeez, no! Too much block stun right there. Was he able to get the throw? And that is the blunder that gives Jack the opportunity to escape, to lock King Africa back to a corner. Good YRC out with the throw to get a minion set up right after. Oh, with the beautiful wire speed to uh, stop the minions. You get out of the sandwich there and start running your offense again. Oh, oh no. no, I'll let you waste the guard cancel. That's fine. This might be it. Zero. Okay, final guard cancel, but still able to pull the trigger. That's unfortunate. You know what's really unfortunate about that chat is the fact that we got the guard cancel, it hit, but even on the jump back, the Jack was still able to throw out a gunshot there. And that means that doesn't give you an opportunity for guard cancel. Jack with a 2P punish and the finish here. My God. 